has the road have all the roads ended for vegetarians no three simple things to be healthy as a vegetarian number one then of course at that time therefore when people say oh you know my grandfather ate carbs and whatever your grandfather was toiling for 7 to 10 hours in the day man not sitting in a car going from one place to another and ordering from swiggy and zomato every time suddenly your supermarkets your food startups your celebrities uh big billionaires invest in something and that is touted as the next big thing it has never turned out well for us i will start with cigarettes hospitals people used to smoke in the 60s and the 70s you've seen those ads you know what was done with coke pepsis and beverages you had kids drinking them okay we've seen how that gone you remember dalda of course vanaspati ghee and they turned around and said no trans fat causes cardiovascular disease you know mock meat is based out of soy suddenly soy is being marketed every influencer in the vegetarian space is said selling you tempeh don't you want to think about it a little why why is soy in front of you so much i mean first of all thank you so much for being here thanks It's, my life has tremendously changed after having met you why because when i met you i had a cold right i was I nursing a cold in that podcast and and i just seen what you were doing on twitter and i was always on the fence about low carb diets and the carnivore diets cut to after our episode came back home uh summer who was here you know yep. he was doing the carnivore diet correct and okay let's be on it for three and a half weeks at this time i could not work out because of various tmj issues my yes. dentist had forbade me from it um immediately what happened is i stopped feeling hunger mostly my mere paas koi test nahi hai but my hormone levels stabilized right um my mood stabilized i could go on for as much as possible i could feel this sense of happiness almost this is anecdotal by the way right to main ye nahi keh raha ki research paper se bata raha hu main but then three and a half weeks i realized to this carnivore diet is very tough to manage for me hmm. someone who goes out a lot meets a lot of people right i can't be carrying these these meal prep boxes everywhere or exactly. meat jab thanda ho jata hai na that that old, uh, yeah, cold that. mutton is like not yeah. my style so uh i had a few problems so i switched back to a normal diet but immediately you know gut problems feeling terrible all of that because your body is now used to it yeah so that's funny yeah. how the feedback comes immediately right yeah like when you go carnivore or low carb or largely meat based and then you shift back to what is called the standard indian diet the feedback is almost immediate that that you feel because you've gone clean correct has that been your experience that has been my experience in fact on tuesdays like we said you know eating meat is a religious issue so on tuesdays i eat out otherwise ghar pe rajma chawal bante hain now the issue is i had no problem with rajma chawal all sundays of my life you know up till a certain age but god damn the moment i eat rajma chawal i am just farting all the time i'm feeling horrible all the time i'm feeling like there is a there is a stone like there is a physical stone in my stomach that is how much my gut has become adapted to eating meat hmm. but what i want what i wanted to get at from here is तो मैंने रियलाइज करा मैं कार्निवर सस्टेन नहीं कर सकता वॉट कैन आई डू बिकॉज अर्ली वॉन्ट द बेनिफिट्स सो आई वेंट टू माई मदर राइट एंड हुज फैंटेस्टिक कुकिन आई सो वट कैन बी डू शीज लाइक हम थोड़े से फ्लेवर्ड कबाब बना सकते हैं यू कैन मेक मटन कबाब थोड़ा सा आलू इतना सा आलू और सूजी टू बाइंड इट बिकॉज यू कैन अर्ली बाइंड दीज राइट एंड यू कैन हैव सम चटनी राइट फॉर द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स आई बीन हैविंग दैट ट्वाइस अ डे यू नो फॉर लंच फॉर डिनर I have reaped almost all the benefits of the carnivore diet. Sure, I don't feel like a pristine, ultra-human, superhuman, mega Brian Johnson type. That's mm. fine, but I feel better in my body still. I feel mm. like I can do whatever I want. I feel like I can work out directly after eating, right? Because it's that light on the stomach. That's light on the stomach, right? Yes. Um, what I wanted to get at from here is this whole switch. Because mm. abhi where we are at, you know, context of our last podcast, people can watch it. I started noticing that. diets have become militant they've become very political right yes. they've become like divisive almost yes you drew the line and you decided you know i'm not going to go full carnivore or full vegetarian i'm i'm animal based what was right. the reason for that so uh like anything it starts with personal experience uh, vinamra okay so i believe that uh diets ways of eating exist to serve you you don't exist to serve the purpose of a diet okay uh whatever may be the way of your eating it should fuel your body it should fuel your brain but it should not become a part of your identity because if it does that then you are in your own echo chamber 
and your eco chamber of other people like you and when you are in eco chambers you don't have an open mind you don't learn that is number 1 mm -hmm. number 2 personally from 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 my own sake i have a similar experience like yours i am somebody um, uh, who's always been 80 85% animal based okay i don't do a lot of vegetables maybe once in 15 days i'll eat a boiled potato okay i like that little bit of a flexibility of having some coffee okay uh, and i reap all the similar benefits of being 80 85% meat based i do two meals a day both those meals rotate between um, uh, red meat white meat fish prawns um, uh, i'm not too fond of vegetables but if a salad is lying there like maybe a cucumber mm. i can eat one odd it doesn't harm me i don't go all the way out so for me when i eat this way and this is how i have been eating 7 8 years though i have been carnivore for more than 90 days like mm. solid carnivore but i did it to understand what was going on this is way back in 2020 okay. and somewhere on my instagram uh, there is a logging of what i was eating okay what i found is just like veganism it kind of occupies your mind a little more mm. so i said okay great i'm all for it okay but i like the flexibility of having meat eggs seafood dairy i love dairy right and maybe uh, agar maine you know ek potato kahin kha liya it's not like something is going wrong it's not and the end that, of the world yeah it's yeah. not the end of the world and i i have maintained my body fat percentage i i'm able to work out my moods are better and uh, it's become second skin for me this is the second reason hmm. the third reason is if you truly want to and i'm a coach i'm a nutritionist if i truly want to help people i cannot project my ways of eating on others food is truly personal okay there are tastes involved there is religion involved there is culture involved there is um there is economy involved there's money involved right hmm. how do i help anybody if i just tell them hey just eat a red meat and a ghee diet i mean I can't help anybody and that's not my job to project as a coach even if I feel that's the best for you the best the, as a coach my role is to see where you're at and how I can make you progress from there and give you the best solutions within the framework of what is possible for you hmm it is not so much like join my cult it's like I'm yeah. here to help you I'm here to help you and uh nobody nobody in the space of nutrition or fitness actually have the full information hmm. okay today for example all the research that is done on our levels of vitamin our rdas are done on moderate to high carb diets so you don't even know if you go completely carnivore okay do you need that level of vitamin supplements and therefore should you supplement there is no research right all your rdas are based on modern human ca high carb diets right. so for example uh, it's a very interesting thing uh, uh, let's say on a carnivore uh, do you really need that much supplementation for zinc maybe if you're on a, a plant based high carb diet you need because we all know phytates reduce the absorption of zinc right so why i'm saying this is another uh, anecdote i wanted to share with you but why i'm saying all of this is nobody knows that this is the best everybody is trying to figure out what is the best way that they can do with some research and some uh, and anecdotes. you're saying this despite the multitude of research papers that exist yes uh, to support say animal based diets yes. versus plant based diets yes despite that despite that and on carnivore there is no research hmm. there is no research right now the only thing we know um, so coming back to why has it become militant why has it become cultish because it's not any more about nutrition but it is about attaching your identity to this way of eating and therefore feeling extremely superior for some reason hmm. that's why i started calling out this though mine was the loudest voice on meat based nutrition right hmm. over the last 2 years at least yes. within india at least i never found that's anybody that's why first you know got in touch with exactly, india exactly because you wanted a completely alternate i was the loudest voice and then at the risk of me sabotaging my own voice i started calling out this cultish carnivore approach saying that hey the the protocol is right the protocol definitely works but it cannot be uh, my way or the highway hmm. that it doesn't help anybody so i think if we understand that if we understand that as people we are different uh, and and there is an um, uh, uh, a process of transition in any form of eating and if coaches don't realize that they're going to be in trouble on the other hand there is vegetarianism right correct and we have the graphs for it correct you want more coffee no i'm i'm good 
uh, we have gra- I mean, I saw a graph that said that you know India is probably the most vegetarian country in the world. I'm not sure. No, um, it's not. But we are almost 72% of India eats meat. But we can question at what frequency, what regularity, what sure. amount. All of that is a big question mark. Um, we have our fair share of diabetes and other issues, right? Recent report, yeah. And yet, um, there are a lot of people, especially since our last podcast, right? There were a lot of people defending their lifestyles. And I saw the comments saying that I've been a vegetarian for 30 years, no problem at all. I feel fine. I feel great. Um, one could argue that perhaps they were saying that because they had no ailments, but it doesn't mean that they're in the pink of their health, right? Yet, I'm sure because you also have a protocol for vegetarians. You yes. do. I've seen your tweets. What would you say to them? Because they find themselves at odds with one. They can't change their lifestyle immediately. They have certain ethical issues about killing animals, which, you know, like oh, all, of, all of us yes, meat eaters don't, system. right? Yes. And then there is religion and there are family dynamics, right? But they also want to reap the rewards of yes. great gut health. Right. You know, all the biomarkers are okay. Right. How do they make the most of it? Is it possible at all? Like realistically possible? Yes. Is it possible? hundred percent. Okay. I want to break everything that you've said into smaller points. Okay. First, the comment section of YouTube from last time or people who say for 30 years I've been eating vegetarianism and I'm fine. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the bar for health is so low, Vinamra, that disease avoidance has become equal to health. Mm. Okay. There is a difference between eating and doing in things in a certain way to avoid disease, just about. Okay. And there is a difference in feeling uh, the best being productive mentally, physically, uh, uh, that wellness spilling into other areas of life. Unfortunately, people don't even know. Like this whole Rajma example. Till from our la- last podcast, after that you experimented and then when you started eating Rajma, hmm. you understood the problem with Rajma. Right. Right. But until then, you lived with Rajma Chawal and probably there were those yeah. uh, 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 symptoms or instances then, but you accepted it that it's normal. Hai. This is the standard way of living. Exactly. And eating and or shitting ye hai. and feeling Correct. bloated. It's, exactly. it's a part of life. It's yeah. a part of life. Right. So one is that. Okay. So you, how do you... How do you know better if you don't try, hmm. right? And don't be emotional about it. Try try a different way of eating. So that's to people who say, I don't have any issues. Now, second is, I'm not calling out any community here. Please, I work with everybody. Contrary to what people think, 30-35% of my clientele are vegetarians who don't even eat eggs. Most of these people come with a trifecta of uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver, a high triglyceride problem, and either a borderline HbA1c or a manifested type 2 diabetes problem, okay? You have to understand that food doesn't manifest overnight. It takes years of eating in a certain manner for that food to manifest. Now, it's a roll of dice of the genetic game that whether you'll manifest problems with this kind of a high carb, high sugar diet in 10 years, whether you'll do it in 20 years, whether you'll do it in 30 years, okay? So... Just because your blood work is fine, I'm not, and this is not me fear mongering. I'm saying look at once, examine once what you're eating and see if you can go better. Mm-hmm. Now, has the road, have all the roads ended for vegetarians? No. Three simple things to be healthy as a vegetarian. Number one, you need to know your protein sources and your intake and what are your legit protein sources. Again, legumes have some protein, but they are complex carbohydrates okay so if you have dairy in your diet it's very good for you because paneer uh, good quality whole milk uh, uh, hung curd even curd um, all these become great dairy becomes a great quality source of protein which has your amino acid profile completely right then second is don't fear supplementing a couple of things you will need to supplement for example b12 is something you will need to supplement if if you're not even eating eggs because b12 is a meat based um, uh, 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 micronutrient right so you will time to time need to supplement with b12 and probably vitamin d okay hmm. vitamin d because vitamin d anyways people need to supplement they don't get the amount yeah, of sun I don't think they, anyone any, goes out in the sun for 2 exactly, hours yeah. exactly to get that so that is common between everybody unless you are as consciously doing it which is difficult really right third is look at whey protein there are 
tons of research and i don't endorse any brand i don't have an affiliate code to give i don't make any money but all my vegetarian clients do very well and treat whey supplement as a supplement not as a meal replacement mm. okay so when you have paneer cheese milk greek yogurt hung curd whey protein as the base of your protein requirements which is the first tier of your nutrition you will address 50 to 60% of your uh the, the the need for nutrition then you layer it with vegetables because you will need uh, uh and and non starchy vegetables then a little layer of lentils and legumes okay finally if there is space for you do carbohydrates and if you're healthy hmm. you build your nutrition in this order and this is exactly the order i build my nutrition with my vegetarian clients. and what about say protein to fat to carb like what what would be the ratio because that is something that people care about a lot for some reason so that completely depends upon uh what stage of health you are in what But are your metabolic issues then fats i will always have protein and i choose protein that come with fat again that's why dairy becomes important mm. all natural sources of protein uh come with protein and fat in fact fun fact i i also give my whey protein to people with a little bit of cream 1 teaspoon of cream or 1 teaspoon of coconut oil it the satiety with the whey protein is better because you are not supposed to strip fat from the protein hmm. okay a lot of uh um uh, uh, what do you say old school bodybuilders fear fat they may not agree to this fair enough they are trying to reach a certain level of body fat percentage but from a health standpoint when people start eating this way it's better i always keep carbs low the only time i am okay with a moderate carb diet if you are spending an hour and a half in the gym four times a week then you have earned your carbohydrates so rule of thumb in a vegetarian diet 80 to 100 grams of carbs okay protein 1 gram of protein per kg of ideal body weight fat is moderate if you eat this way you will get about anywhere from 50 to 60 grams of fat if you're taller you will need more because the protein will be more right and i keep carbs to less than like i said 80 to 100 grams okay hmm. this is how i build now if you're a vegetarian and if you come from vegetarian households and if you're raised vegetarian like me there is another um insight and and traditional wisdom we all have from vegetarian families by looking at our grandparents fasting was always a protocol with grandparents ekadashi fasting yeah. something fasting and although it's not very commonly espoused like they don't often talk about they it they don't talk about it for health reason they do it they did it for religious reasons so frugality of eating with fasting protocols that are built in skip a meal here and there generally do one meal a day for whatever reason don't eat for uh, you know 15 16 hours that way you will be able to balance your nutrition uh, and you will be able to balance the effect of a load of carbohydrates that happen with vegetarian mm. diets because trust me we are grainy words we are not really vegetarian i have not seen vegetarian families eat like a whole portion of veggies and some paneer and dal it is a whole portion of rice dal and a little veg yeah it feels very weird like we actually we our family tried this many years ago where like we're going to go ham on vegetables right nahin, exclusively nahin ho pata hai. and there was no satiety it felt weird without rice or or rotis for that matter yes also oh. when you try that you don't know the importance of protein so there is no paneer compulsorily going with everything right hmm. like the protein with the fat gives you the satiety yeah so when i design a meal uh, for 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 a vegetarian with let's say uh, uh, paneer like paneer bhurji okay and a huge portion of a green and maybe some moong dal you hit your satiety you don't yeah. need the rice or the roti so vegetarians three rules know your sources of protein plan for protein watch your carbs be a little frugal when i say frugal don't portion control i'm saying mm. don't don't go like mujhe itna hi khana hai i'm saying bring frugality via fasting yeah i remember um with vegetarianism there is another problem which is and supplement and supplement yeah. a portion sizes right ye the problem meat ke andar bhi hai like i i go to the butcher often yeah, you know yeah yeah and i see like like a father of four rich hmm. man hmm. rich man hmm. coming and buying 250 grams of chicken for the entire family for dinner yeah. right yeah. we eat 500 grams of mutton per meal like Correct. on average right i mean that's what i do at least yeah. right i'm i would be about 300 300 right, depending grams. on body yeah, weight right? alone, alone alone for one meal one person, right yeah so the idea of satiety that we knew uh before this sort of enlightenment around diets was like you know 
number one, meat is a sort of luxury here in the yeah. north. Yeah. And you eat it, you sort of have, like even with a butter chicken when they want this, yeah. you know, five pieces. Correct. And you think that, oh, you actually have had meat, this will add to your protein, whatever, yeah. right? In vegetarians, usually what I've seen is they stack up on, not so much on sabji or dal, but on like roti or chawal, yes. right? Yes. So as far as portion sizes are concerned for vegetarians and then also like what, uh, and, and then also non-vegetarians, what should be a general bar- barometer for assessing it? So you remember last time we spoke about change your plate proportion. Mm-hmm. So uh, take a ruler, okay, and p- put a scale right across your thali, okay? At least 40% on, on one side should be some form of protein. 40%. And I'm talking about class 1 protein, which is probably dairy-based. Hmm. So either you, that should be 40%, should be either paneer, or it should be, um, you know, some Greek yogurt, or do other combinations, like Greek yogurt and some whey protein. Okay, I'm including all of this, maybe some cheese. Okay. Then another 30% should actually be between your vegetables and lentils. The reason why I'm combining these two is because nobody can eat a lot of vegetables. You, hmm. you can get people to eat a lot of vegetables, but they don't eat. Okay, so use complex carbohydrates, which are basically your lentils. Lentils are dal is not protein. Dal is a complex carbohydrate. So the complex carbohydrate along with the vegetable, okay, is the other portion. The smallest portion, which is the 20%, should be your, what I call, call direct carbs, whether it's the rice or the roti. And can people do pure dairy? Can they just survive on dairy or is that like too much of a far-fetched idea? Uh, pure dairy... Uh, I have not known people to survive on, on a lot of dairy, but you can do dairy and vegetables very easily. Hmm. Yes. Completely eliminate legumes, roti so the, and chawal. The guys, the guys who, uh, who are chronic diabetics, as in uh, long-standing diabetics on my plan, uh, they do largely dairy and vegetables only. And Vegetarians. It helps, and it helps them sort of reverse yeah. it or yes, like it, manage it? Yes, it goes into it? remission. Actually, yes. if you just have tons of dairy... And you can add sugar into it? Like no, 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 sugar. No, sh- no sugar. So, no. so non-sweetened milk? No, so let's say I have a pure vegetarian who can't do eggs. Hmm. I can run his entire nutrition plan on, on non-starchy vegetables. Okay? Let's say I've eliminated uh, legumes and lentils also for whatever reason. Say they don't want to eat. Okay? I can still work with Greek yogurt, coconut yogurt, um, uh, paneer, hmm. uh, all your good quality of cheese like feta, edam, all of that. Right? Good quality. I have built the nutrition. Possible. So you can actually do it. You can yes, actually make... Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Because I always thought... And you know, sometimes you will also on Twitter say that, you know, actually animal-based is bigger than this. But it seems to me that this is knowledge that has come up as a consequence of treating many clients. Yes. You don't always start off with this, right? No, I didn't. I didn't. So, so what changed? So the problem with pure vegetarians is that, you know... They're always used to, I dal kiske saath khau. Main, uh, main paneer kiske saath khau. Hmm. Okay, there is no replacement for, though people want to add millets and all of that, when you're diabetic, it doesn't help. Okay, so when I found certain clients who are able to tell me, okay, I really want to put this into remission. Okay, I will not touch uh, uh, a roti or a rice. How do I build it? Few of them, that's how I started building with dairy and whey protein and vegetables. Hmm. And it's possible. They will still have to do some supplementation. B12 will be needed. Vitamin D will be needed. Some cases, iron is needed. Okay. Uh, but minimal supplementation, ke saath, if you're able to eat this way, ho jata hai. Hmm. Solid. As far as the animal-based diet is concerned, right? Hmm. Because this is a thing that people are But despite there being several resources, they're not hmm. always packaged the best way for Indians. Because one thing we've There's seen... There's a reason, yeah. Correct. Right? Because one thing we've seen is it's always beef-based pure red meat diets that started working in America yeah. and then they came here. Then we realized yeah. we can't eat legally beef here. Correct. Buff is, is harder to source still because not everyone sells it. Um, and the quality of, a, of, a, of buff meat in your regular butcher is very, very, it's, a, it's not great. I have sourced it. Okay. It's chewy. Mm-hmm. It's pressure cooker ki kafi seetiyan lagti hai. Kafi marination planning ki zarurat padti hai. Usko aap steak ya kebab bana ke khana bahut mushkil hai. Hmm. I have eaten one year of buffalo meat, so I know. Yeah, no, I, I've had, uh, you know, just steak milta hai. Unless bahar aap koi very fancy restaurant mein buffalo tenderloin mil raha hai, then that, that quality will be different. Yeah. But for a daily basis, you have to rely on a butcher, right? Even in a meaty gore, a licious, the tenderloins you get, they are 850 bucks a piece. You can't afford it. 
really this, and buff tenderloins okay that's that's a very expensive so which which reminds me what i'm actually about what to talk about yeah. um the problem is ki yahan pe red meat source karna there's a buff problem and then this is just my opinion i could it could be stupid i always think of like goats and lambs as weak animals you know like it's not strong or not worthy of the red meat tag because you know i mean cows and buffaloes and ye jitne bhi elks wagera all that jazz bisons they're like tough animals can we actually have the same amount of nutritional benefits from just eating goat or lamb is it adequately red meat or no okay let me just tell you it is not the size of the animal it is uh, not the 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 whether they are weak or whether they are uh, wild or whether they are uh, game it's not the it's not the size or the kind of the animal it is whether they are ruminants or not okay ruminant animals and w- will therefore have red meat okay are always almost similar in a nutrient profile so ruminant animals despite the size doesn't matter okay so a goat meat a lamb meat uh, a, a, a a cow meat or buffalo meat a bison uh the nutrition profile the amino the the, the profile of nutrition you'll get from it 19 20 badlega kahi thoda kam zyada but you will get the full benefit from that okay that is number one so just because a goat may strength nahi hai and because it does what it does versus Sorry, it doesn't goats. look doesn't look as majestic as probably mm-hmm. or or daravna as a buffalo in the you know it doesn't mean that the nutrition is poor yeah. it is a ruminant so therefore it has higher uh, nutrition that's number one number two let's address the uh, how do how do we adapt it for indian living see every time when again this is where i have a i i i kind of took a contrarian stance right it is expensive one beef is not available buff hmm. is not like i told you the problem with buffalo meat from a butcher shop it's not palatable hmm. okay that well third uh, uh, mutton is very expensive yeah. okay now if you tell everybody and this is part of this karmic cult approach that comes in saying bas mutton khao mutton khao mutton khao how are you going to uh, help a larger amount of audi- audience where there is a problem on a daily basis right so which is why i took the whole approach of meds meat eggs seafood dairy solid okay so when i say meat i'm actually standing for all forms of red meat good acronym also yeah uh, i, very, I very always said i always said eat your meds and that is this okay eggs we all know it's the cheapest powerhouse form of nutrition uh-huh. in meat i also include the poultry by the way okay so duck patridge uh, uh, apna um, chicken uh, all of that comes in right uh, seafood so basically all types of fish prawns a- a- everything and then dairy dairy is anything that comes out of milk right when you start rotating your nutrition like this uh, and you don't have to eat red meat daily to get the the entire nutrition from it let's say you're able to afford it only 3 times a week mm. have it 3 times a week the rest of the time you're able to get your nutrition from all the other animal based sources now when you eat this way across if you if you if your nutrition is built across meds in both meals okay then you just need to add a little bit of vegetable depending upon what you tolerate and depending upon your health and your activity level add some carbs it could be as simple as a boiled potato yeah. why are we getting so militant about this i think it's far easier also to adopt this because if exactly. i don't have meat in my house i can always eat eggs eggs are the most exactly. available whatever you go um so some days i will build my nutrition like this i will do paneer in the morning and i will do some mutton in the night some days i will do chicken in the uh, afternoon i i eat two meals then i will do some beef in the night some days i will just do uh, i'm allergic to egg white so i now eat only the yolk so i'll do some egg yolks in the morning then i'll do some prawn the law of averages in terms of nutrient density will also start to apply over a period of time rose utna mutton red meat kahan se khaoge we can't afford it sometimes mm. it's not feasible sometimes it is expensive it is expensive i think i think if i were to buy it here in faridabad uh 500 grams per meal it would cost me about 30000 rupees a month more or less the, um which is a lot which a is a lot yeah 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 so and this is the approach i i i work with with all my uh, uh animal based clients people who are open to eating uh, meat 
they get all the benefits yeah they are able to lose weight they are able to put their markers into remission they are able to if they uh, mostly after losing some amount of weight they are all motivated to go and train do something it, it's all there it's not like uh, uh, you know it's a red meat supremacy going on what about the interchangeability of red meat versus white meat like are there sizable yes, differences in, there in both be. yes yeah. there will so be. what are those differences mainly a whole lot of nutrients you know for example creatine is red meat you will not find it in red, uh, in white meat taurine is is, an, is another example of which is found in uh, uh, seafood not found in uh, as much in white meat it is the amount of micronutrients the 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 amount of amino acids the nine amino acids in what ratio which is why i tell people dekho thoda bahut if you're not a red meat eater Mm -hmm. The funny part is, if you eat red meat, you don't need to change your protein source. Right. You get everything. That's the benefit of red meat. But if you are largely, uh, if you prefer, like a lot of people actually in India like have the more, palate yeah. only of eggs, chicken. Yeah. Then I just tell them, you know what? थोड़ा बहुत हफ्ते में एक बार ला दो, like a little bit, yeah. not in in a kebab form. Yeah. Even even mutton is like mutton seek kebab and mutton rogan josh. Exactly. Like that's as far that as, as at least in the north. That's as far yeah. as you go. Yeah. Right. So I will tell them, थोड़ा fish ला दो, like yeah. you know, so rotate it a little more. Okay. So that is the difference, but. i am saying even with the inclusion of just meat eggs and um, chicken eggs and paneer i am able to do a lot with people's health and i like progression over perfection all the time hmm. so that's about the, how we can kind of manage this and which are kind of people which are very hard to work with and when it comes to nutrition people who are difficult to work with despite your advice See, normally I have been very fortunate, uh, Venamra, that people, by the time they've come to me, they've at least tried some two different kinds of things. Usually, it is a calorie counting. काम नहीं करता, ठीक है? They would have tried that, or second, they would have tried some 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 form of a dirty keto. This is the second kind. You know, keto ki I didn't work for me. Then I realized it is a lot of keto deserts and fat bombs, and you know, not knowing how to use the ketogenic diet. So usually, by the time they've come to me. they have a mindset ki karna hai okay and they have that confidence because if you look at any health handle at least in the last 2 and a half years on twitter i challenge you to find as many transformation cases both in terms of blood markers or just pictures on any other handle as much as mine right mm -hmm. so that speaks a lot now uh, so they they are usually unka mindset ho jata i'll tell you where i have challenge i have challenge when people use food as uh, emotional coping mechanisms Hmm. Okay, and we were discussing off camera before. My role doesn't end with 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 clients with just talking about diet and nutrition. Saying ye khana ye nahi khana. It's a lot of emotional counselling. Okay, I fell off the wagon. This whole week has been terrible. I'm not going to log. What do I do? You know. Then suddenly I'll see four days the client hasn't logged. Then I will WhatsApp. I said, What's going on? He said, I'm feeling shitty. I don't want to weigh myself. Okay, let's have a conversation. So what happened? This guilt, shame of you know falling off the wagon. Sometimes it is that. Sometimes it is a life stage which is not going very well for you. Suddenly a breakup in the family, a divorce coming up, an alcohol binge. Uh, it could be a job stress, right? So all of this people uh, people. go to food as 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 coping mechanisms and sometimes it is food and alcohol sometimes it is sugar and alcohol it is a combination of a lot of things so the scope of coaching almost becomes therapy though i'm not a, a qualified therapist but i'm old enough and i've had a journey long enough to understand that these things can put you off the rail and my only endeavor when i start doing these check in calls with people especially when they see when i don't hear from them and when i see they're not logging is hey tomorrow is a new day let's start one day then of course i start applying all the principles that i have put in my life saying that let's get one meal right one day let's get the other meal right then next day you'll feel better so it's a lot of which is why i'm constantly on whatsapp because i'm dealing with this a lot right so it goes now some people may ask me you have way too much time to do this it's not the question of time food is how people also express various emotions right women do it a lot more than men how men do it with alcohol women do it with sugar and food right so uh, if i want outcomes and i work therefore like a sports coach i'm outcome driven if i don't work on the behavior aspect and the mental aspect just by giving them a chart it's not going to help mm. and how do you deal with stress eaters because i mean i haven't encountered too many stress eaters in my life 
Uh, Emotional eaters are all stress eaters. Hmm. Um, What if it's can once you, in a yeah, if can, it's yeah. So normally they will go to hyper palatable food because it will give the dopamine uh-huh. rush, right? It's the same thing. So when they are stressed, you will see four gulab jamun will happen, or a massive slice of pizza will happen, or three kachoris will happen. Sometimes when they come back and it's in the log, they will tell me, "Sorry, stressful day. I let it go." You know, I can't be uh, uh, Hitler. नहीं बन सकती कि क्यों खाया मतलब खा लिया तो खा लिया. I'm like, okay, let to, let's not slide off tomorrow. Okay. Uh, sometimes people will tell me things like, uh, you know, night eight o'clock. I'm having a massive sugar craving. What do I do now? I have some tricks and trips which I'm not going to reveal here. I has I have over again no research nothing over a period of time experimented with various clients. How if a person is having a sugar craving if i give something fatty and salty they are able to manage that craving so like cheese yes like cheese yeah i find that whenever i am hungry and i am not yeah. close to my usual food a cube of cheese yeah us din samar aata tha cheese khaya and i was hungry yeah and i had a bunch of cheese cheese slices yeah. and that sort of killed the desire to invest in bad food yeah. you want more coffee yeah i'll pour i'll give you one more thing i have a lot of male uh, clients who over a period of time come home and unwind with the beer okay hey, that's me as well <laughs> now see i am not somebody who will prop, who who endorses alcohol everybody knows the problem with alcohol i don't become a sudden saint and say mat piyo and all of that everybody who engages in all of this is very well aware of it okay hmm. but i have to change certain behaviors out of it so what i found is that for most people who drink uh, beer um uh, even sodas like i mean coke pepsi mm-hmm. the fizz they like a lot okay so when i start supple- substituting fresh lime soda with some crushed i have my own recipes and i say you want to unwind okay now unwind with this today evening and watch netflix and let me know how it goes something fizzy something fizzy the fizz uh. somehow comes the 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 craving for the beer so when if if you're somebody who i see who's drinking every day teen drink roz raat ko ya teen beer i say substitute slowly they will they will have three fresh lime i'm like pio three fresh lime soda pine mein kuch nahi hota okay with salt they will tell me yes today i went alcohol free i'm going to attempt tomorrow so i get change in behavior patterns that way four days if a person has gone without alcohol their reward mechanism kicks in saying hey what you know i went four days without alcohol let me try the fifth day and the sixth day so what was a daily activity comes down to once in a week once in 10 days it's a win for me we were at a client's house um and this is right around the time when i start feel like kaam khatam ho gaya let's definitely go have a drink hmm. uh, you know and she said aap logo ko nimbu soda pina you remember that right exact yeah nimbu soda acha i'm used to drinking ghar aake school se back in the day nimbu pani bina which is different right like lemon water that is fresh lime water right what i'm talking is fresh lime soda is basically carbonated water yes. for yeah so the moment and it had some sugar but like yeah the moment we got it i looked at pratham was like bro <laughs> ye kya hai this is it this is very refreshing yeah, no yeah it's like humne we had all this coffee yeah. on one side but then yeah. there is this yeah and i swear like i felt very rejuvenated yeah Uh, in a way, I cannot describe yeah. that if I probably just do the same whenever I have a craving for beer, it could actually solve the problem. Yes. So people who have this, you know, there are, there are again certain clients, men, a lot of men, they will drink through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hmm. What about hard alcohol though? Because you know that's not a fizz problem. It's also a behavior problem. See, ha- ha- apart from. so alcoholism is a problem and that's a completely different thing there are certain people who have this unwinding habit with even hard drinks right mm. the problem is the ritual hum jab sharab bhi peete hain we say na chalo mahol banate hain right wo mahol mein hum peete hain even even all these people who come home i have had clients who have told me yaar from morning to evening i don't think about a drink i'm super functional i'm super productive i spend time 8 o'clock i'll come home i'll take a shower my hand will automatically reach the the bar for a drink that is mind muscle memory because of the routine okay right. so i tell them a few things few things first change that mahol banana if you're used to doing that same thing again and again ghar se aaye ho bachche se baat kar liye ho and you're going for that shower change the timing of that shower dinner kar lo sabse pehle baith ke the yeah. minute you start changing those cues that act as trigger 
you have changed certain pathways in your mind. That's number one. Number two, if you're somebody who's drinking three drinks every day, I'll say, do 30 ml pe aoge. So I don't do it cold turkey. Then they realize. Then they wake up in the morning feeling better. They were like, oh, today I was not groggy. I mm. feel better. See, ultimately, na, everybody feels better when they change some sort of an addictive habit. They just need help. And then results dikne lag jata hai. Mm. Right? So the minute you are cutting down an alcohol, you're the food matters a lot with the alcohol. If, so what do you mean? When I, if you're having alcohol, I will, I will say today if you're drinking, sorry, I'm entertaining today, I will have two drinks. I will say two drinks is okay. You will promise me that aap ya to paneer khaoge, ya chicken khaoge, ya mutton khaoge. Mm. There is something about the satiety of that that doesn't want to make you drink further. I'm talking about people who are recreational, this unwinding kind of drinkers. I'm not talking about hardcore alcoholics. That's a right. different problem completely or right. alcohol out of trauma out of depression and that that those are all very different problems i can actually back that up with the the cheese and the yes so basically uh sometimes i'll go to this cocktail bar yeah. i enjoy yeah. it a lot and instead of ordering random food they even give me peanuts i, I no. try and order yeah. the whatever i'm like in the day or in the evening when i go with you know people i want to entertain basically mm -hmm. right i order this giant board of cheese and meat which is a platter, right? Yeah, your cold cut platter, yeah, yeah, the, the cold cuts. The cold cut platter. It does amazing and they come with the little olives. Yeah, 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 yeah. olives, the some cheese. fruit yeah, here and yeah, there, like yeah. a little bit of jams. Correct, but correct. It's, it has been single-handedly, I think you're right, it's, it really cuts the desire to keep drinking and even satiates, satiates you in a way that, yeah. I don't know, you, you feel good. Like the entire experience is, is okay yeah. for your gut, for yeah. your body. Yeah. Not like yeah. your three sugary drinks down and you're like... Ugh. And after that, nachos, khaliya, phir ek biryani ho gaya, and then phir se khaliya. <laughs> and then you wake up in the morning full of regret. <laughs> mm. You know? So these are... I work on behavior changes so that... See, until you yourself realize the reward of a behavior, no matter what I am going to tell you is going to matter. That is why to shame an addict never works. Mm. That is why even on Twitter when I say you're a carb addict, you're a sugar addict, how does it work? You know, it doesn't work. But if you actually change your behavior and allow them to indulge in that changed behavior mm. where they realize the reward, the, uh, the, the probability of repeat behavior is so much better. What about, so uh, let's talk about carb addiction, right? Because that's the, that's the area that you primarily deal in. We are used as normal Indians, ki hum, depending on what part of the country you're in, you will generally eat either rice or roti, right? Correct, largely. And mostly your meal will be like, we have eaten food for 8 roti. Like Baan, we had 7 chi, chi, rotis, chi, 5 rotis, yeah, right? I was, in fact, I was watching a reel where this, uh, you know, like a uh, motel owner in Rishikesh was making fun of these two brothers and they had their shirts open because they were like fully like uh. just... Yeah. And I distinctly remember the day as a kid when Ranmachal was the house again and I was just like lost it. I had seven rotis as a kid. Like I was like probably like you know five or six years old. I remember my brother when he was 17, 16, 17, he used to eat 14 dosas. You know my mum used to make those really... But dosas are better, no? But 14? <laughs> what is that? 14 dosas, 8 idlis. Isn't there something about that food that... And I'm not saying... Nobody's a glutton like that, yeah? yeah? Isn't there something about that food that makes you want to eat like that? Yeah, non-stop. You don't know when to stop. You're like... Uh, even like sometimes... Pe to you know, you, after the... F even people as tall as 6'2", when I tell them 5 eggs in the morning, they're like, Sangeeta, khaya nahi ja raha. That is, there is something inherently problem with food, what it does to your hormones. Anyway, you were saying about carbs. No, yeah, what I was saying about carbs is, that is also very interesting. Um, is that even now, I will see my parents eating. And you know, like, you know, old habits die hard. So sometimes, I'll really, like, I'm, like I, I'm in the middle of eating my kebabs or like, aadha da khaya. I'm, it's like, I would love the taste of that ghee wali roti ek bar just karke. Totally. And the moment I eat it, Hmm. Something inside me feels very nostalgic and my taste buds explode yeah. because it's an old taste that I'm used to. Instantly, there is a hunger pang in me. Yeah. In fact, I eat parathe and I'm like, I have to go down to the kitchen and start consuming a fuck ton more. 
and then I eat all the wrong stuff. And then I realize even now, despite being on this diet mostly, if I eat too many carbs, I want to eat more carbs. And the next day I'm, it's, I'm hard pressed to eat more carbs, right? How do you wean people off carb addiction? Because it's not just ki ye Saturday Indian diet. Hai. It's emotions, it's life, it's nostalgia, it's mummy ka khana, it's daddy ka khana. It's maybe for some people a survival mechanism. Ki jab tak roti hai, chawal hai, I'm okay. 80-20 rule applies in life. I completely get where you're coming from. If I smell uh, sambar, <laughs> you know the drumstick sambar, I'm a mm-hmm. South Indian. There is something that goes on in my head that, and I have been low carb 10 years. I'm like khana hai. Okay? <laughs> it is a combination. I think there is something that happens. It's a blueprint as to how you're raised. Uh, uh, memories attached with that. Memories are attached to smells. Bachpan ki yaade, mummy ka ghar. All of that plus the taste. It is very, very natural. But so this is the way I, I counsel everybody and th- these are how my chats go because this is a very valid question that they ask me for life. Am I supposed to be eating like this? I say no. Depending upon what your goals are, where you're at. Okay. And, and the conversation will be a little different for people who are chronically diabetic. Illnesses are different. Okay. But let's say you're a normal, you've just gone off the rail, whatever, whatever. First I say until the program, let's wean off the carbs to about 80 grams, 50 grams mm. usually. वो कर पाते हैं क्योंकि एक मील में मैं कार्ब्स देती हूं hmm. या तो आधी रोटी एक रोटी थोड़ा चावल दिन में होता है एंड बीच में व्हाट अबाउट द विथड्रॉल अगर लाइक आर डू दे टेक्स्ट यू सेइंग आई एम क्रेविंग कार्ब्स राइट नाउ लाइक आई एम डाइंग उसके लिए तरीके होते हैं ना जैसे ही फैट और प्रोटीन देते तो वो विथड्रॉल्स धीरे-धीरे कम होते हैं द विथड्रॉल फ्रॉम कार्ब इज एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट विथड्रॉल व्हिच फ्रेश लाइम सोडा विद सॉल्ट विल हैंडल रियली यू व्हाट यू आर सीकिंग इज सॉल्ट बेसिकली विद द कार्ब the carb withdrawal is nothing but an electrolyte withdrawal. Magnesh, uh, uh, potassium, sodium, magnesium. Usually in magnesium glycinate, now everybody takes, so that handles a little bit of the withdrawal, the cramping and all of that that magnesium happens. Magnesium glycinate, I take it for sleep. Can you also use it for other stuff? There are, there are other things that happen with magnesium glycinate also, right? The calming effect, the relaxing effect, mm. which you, you're, you're, when you're transitioning. So, first of all, I don't pura v- I, I don't go again i'm calling out all the carny clowns going from 0 to 100 doesn't happen it has to happen slowly okay so mai pehle to ek meal mein rakhti hu depending upon that slowly 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 see again i tell you when they start seeing the results na 6 kilo kam ho gaya bhaiya ek ek mahine mein and then all the other benefits which you described mai mm. bloating nahi hai mai fat nahi kar raha hu mai 3 baje after eating i'm not falling asleep i'm not reaching for umpteen numbers of coffee i'm not shitting five times a day they feel better okay now so i tell them this till we have goals on the program let's stick to a low carb pattern then i start in the maintenance part which i do for about 15 days the way I man 15 days to three weeks, I start introducing a little bit carbs over maybe two meals over the weekend a little more. Then over the period of the week, I tell them how to manage the 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 probable negative effects of it. Hmm. Okay, which is now f- next two days just go on a fast. Okay, so there are various things that I do the five is to two ratio where two meals in in the weekend on two days you take your carbs, but then you come back to a complete low carb protocol five times a day bring intermittent fasting into your schedule. That's how I do it. It's not like I don't touch a, a, a piece of cake in my life. Mm. I do. There are occasions that happen, right? But you come back to all those uh, learnings that you've had. So 80-20 ratio, largely eat this way. Now, the more metabol, all this, uh, let me tell you one thing, Vinamra, is people don't exercise. Now, people who exercise, that's a different deal. That's the only time when I exceed 120 grams of carbs in a day where I know you are going to the gym one hour, at least three to four times a week, then you've earned your carbohydrates. Then mm. it's different. So why, why, why then? Like, can you not, for example, go to the gym and also not eat carbs and sit No, no, you can. I'm uh. talking about those people who like some of their carbs. Right. A lot of people stay low. I, I go to the gym low carb 10 years. I'm not mm. I'm not doing anything with the... And did you, did you feel uh, any change in energy levels now that no. you did not have carbs to sort of... Like you should load up on some carbs and like it'll help no. you with expending energy better no, in the gym. No, so this, this, there is, this debate has been going on. I have been a carnivore and I have lift, lifted. I have lifted fasted. I have lifted on low carb. Uh, I... The question is metabolic flexibility. 
if mm. you know if you if you have reached a point where you are able to use both fat and glucose as fuel ketones and glucose basically you can work on carbs and you can work on fat it becomes easier okay but at no point i believe that you can lift very heavy only after eating carbs a mm. lot of people have disproven this summer was just speaking about it that he's right. done it he's bulked on a carnivore diet where yeah. people believe you need to uh, uh, have carbs uh, in a bulk you don't need to so i was talking about people who want their carbs don't have a problem then i go to about that 120 150 grams of carbohydrate 160 also okay mm. that's fine if you're metabolically compromised be very careful what so what do you mean by that metabolically compromised type 2 diabetes mainly or or t- progression of type 2 diabetes over a period of 10 years 15 years where you your your glucose spikes are uncontrollable okay then i say ease it out and even then like i have a lot of clients who've been diabetic for 5 years 10 years put everything into remission and do they take their medicine and they follow these protocols or do they like then get off the medicine okay so well? what happens is uh usually if you if you've been compliant on low carb uh usually with with type 2 diabetics and all i get them off grains and the carbohydrate largely is from vegetable okay or some form of com- complex carbohydrate from an indian standpoint dal okay in about 3 weeks you will start to see the changes in your blood glucose levels either through a glucometer or if you are wearing a uh, continuous glucose monitor you will know 3 weeks depending upon how compliant you are most of my clients will go have the first conversation with the doctor saying that hello here is my list of uh, uh, this is the history of my glucose blood glucose markers here is how my eating pattern is and usually they'll call for an hba1c and all of that most of the time the the doctor will start reducing your meds dosage and say i will review in one month if you're on the same diet so in one month again it comes it goes further 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 down now at the end of the program two things happen most doctors do not get you off all medication completely especially in india or anywhere else they will keep you on some sort of a therapeutic dosage why is that doctors protocol to be uh, uh, slightly more careful okay hmm. some of uh, a lot of my clients will say ab mere ko wo 500 mg metformin bhi nahi lena hai okay uh, so that is their call okay but at least but at least you're not on some multiple uh, dosages of 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 tablets and all of that that comes off and to all these people i say as far as you follow this lifestyle your need for medication will not be there it will not progressively develop into other things and most of them do there are few cases where they completely go back and the condition will come back so coming back to your question 80 20 rule 80% of the time eat right stay low carb watch your meal proportions prioritize protein and fat and vegetables hmm. go easy on the sugar and carbs you're good sangeeta we, what you and i share in common is we arrived at certain conclusions about health and nutrition and then subsequently began experimenting on our own bodies hmm. and our minds hmm. uh because the premise was somewhere that modern medicine as we know was slightly broken Right? Yes, it is. I mean, it helps. Yeah, it helps. But, yeah, that's why I want to do a little caveat. So I grew up going to the homeopathic doctors all my life, like all my life. You know, mm. like I remember, uh, कुछ भी बात हो रही है homeopathic, and you know, great people for for that time, for that time when I was struck by placebo, it it worked mm. for me. But now that I think about it, sugar pills, right? Same way, going to college and just assuming that eating pizza every night a week is okay. eating pizza and trying to work on a complex homework problem is okay mm. um you know having chocolate cake and just casually yeah. going out and not anything eating anything the entire night and drinking is okay and then discovering the whole uh, cocktail of okay cold showers work mm. okay fasting works okay mm. great um you know sunlight exposure works great mm. i should sit in a squat and everyone has different routines and yeah. protocols but it's, it's you are sort of red pilling yourself into waking up yeah. about health yeah. you know you said you were you did not look like this you actually were you know uh, you you had a lot of weight and then you I abused that i was just fat you were yeah. just fat as a warning saying that no no please do <laughs> i we should get bring back that word but yeah i i totally love that word yeah. i still uh, say hey, look at the fat person but it's, yeah, it's such a yeah bring back that word yeah but, yeah no what's the other word that they use uh, 
it's a say heavy instead like say heavy plus person plus sized plus, plus sized size. yeah 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 bunch of nonsense um, which is why which is why a certain part of the world is now calling you whales which i think is a little bad <laughs> <laughs> you you stop you 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 started telling people don't fat shame don't use the word fat and now they are ending up calling you whales yeah, so it's don't it's do worse this. right fat was yeah, just okay like, exactly like, why whales like you would say i'm just a fat guy like that's yeah. fine i always tell men that i was fat i mean yeah. it's a description like when you call somebody thin there is no offense there yeah it's a description that's what you are anyway you say yeah but but like that's also i want to get to that but this moment when you start to realize that what i know about health and my life is broken and and it needs to be yeah. taken away from the autonomy of society yeah and and conventional medicine yeah and even your parents and your upbringing and sort of be taken back into your own hands agency basically agency right now that often comes at a cost of social ridicule hmm. it often comes at a cost of feeling alone in this yeah it often comes at a cost of making a few mistakes as you figure this out right so diet the cheese okay but overall right when you sort of biohack not everyone is going to be very responsive like i do these kundalini bioenergetic releases mm. people look at me like i'm strange mm. or like i do some weird stuff mm. but it helps to oxygenate my entire body so i can you know mm. be high energy mm. for you what have been some challenges adopting this lifestyle because one of the things is you've become very assertive in your communication let's just say that yeah yeah right <laughs> uh you've had to establish clear boundaries in fact so much so that you've be- you've become this person who who is a nutritionist mm. right because i don't think you can sort of be in the middle yeah but it's not easy for everyone no. to just go full tilt okay so i have been assertive in all areas of my life that's okay. how i am as a person like i've just finished 24 glorious years of working as a, a marketing professional this assertiveness has always been there that's that's my personality trait okay probably because i was in marketing i was outgoing all of that right so the assertiveness also shifted very gradually to this side okay the reason i may come across sometimes as a troll or a uh, rude is because i am so tired of the lies that have been told when i'm so tired not just it, one is my own personal journey right of 15 18 years of trying to find that that sweet spot of health right that when i vehemently put out an opposing view which is so counterintuitive like meat is healthy right yeah uh i i get all of this and you see a sample of all of that in the youtube comments and on twitter right oh uh, you know she's peddling pseudo science she's um, uh, not inclusive of vegetarians uh, so i get a lot of the backlash but i welcome that backlash because that backlash sparks further a conversation Hmm. right so when you give me all that backlash and then when i put out a transformation of a 100 kg going to a 75 kg and i actually put out that protocol or when i have somebody who reverses nafld eating saturated fat and meat okay or when i'm able to resolve a hypertension issue or if i'm able to uh, get somebody of 100 units of insulin to 4 on on a damaged pancreas case using the carnivore protocol it sparks more conversation for me and more awareness and if you remember we were just discussing 2020 when i started on twitter there was so much abuse on twitter and so much people came back at me but 3 years down the line now i'm talking to people and and they will tell me in my dms from our last podcast and all the other podcasts ma'am you've changed so much just the incorporation of eggs in my diet mm. just the fact that i we don't look paneer look at paneer as this sunday afternoon delight meal it's a necessity because i'm vegetarian okay uh, your entire perspective on don't run like crazy to lose weight maybe three times go to the gym and do some form of resistance training so i have seen that needle maybe not totally and i i know this that twitter is not the real world but mm. there are those cues that i get that keeps the conversation going but yes backlash from family my family now knows me so not so much from family it's also a very lonely journey oh. yeah that's what i was to say it's a very lonely journey because uh 
you will end up not eating half the things people end up they will call you all sorts of names like a snob they will tell you are obsessed okay they will do there is there is another level of uh, you know um, uh, we spoke about fit shaming the last time if you are a woman it's suddenly like oh you you are uh, you are anti ageist there are all sorts of woke things that come about anti ageist the, yeah you are so kya kare age. bude ho jaye matlab i i am not anti ageist but i i love to change the narrative around aging that you have to look haggard and you have to have frail ye kon keh raha hai who is uh, saying uh, that you know you are, i i am saying that uh, you no know, accept all of that and you know so there are all these conversations that Wait, happen so people are actually telling you that if you are aging you must look haggard it is they're a saying, norm they are saying that they, you know all this is a vanity requirement you have okay vanity is a very good reason if that is keeping you healthy my reason is not just vanity i i don't want to ever become a uh, a resident or or a visitor of a hospital <laughs> or a doctor i want to age well i don't want to have a cabinet of medicines i don't want to trouble my son hmm. as simple as that as far as possible that is simple right but you but there is no when whenever you start a parallel movement you're going to face the backlash when i mean you would have seen that when you started as a po- podcast host in many yeah. ways every like, single day every, exactly so i remember i was reading your post yesterday on on instagram you said that you're not going to do this geopolitics crap and this aliens theory yeah. you're not going to be a slave to the algorithm you're going to uh, you know curate a list of uh, uh, guests and topics that actually add value that is exactly something that i did i can get a million followers by saying ayurveda is great drink neem juice in the morning <laughs> not but yeah which is which reminds us is is there actual and and you know we know parks ke bahar there are these small stalls yeah. i don't know if you've seen them in I mumbai have, yeah yeah that now sell ayurveda juices जिसके अंदर होते हैं कि इसमें तीस औषधियां मिली हुई हैं दे डू लाइक अ ग्रीन अमालगमेशन ऑफ स्टफ यस एंड पीपल आफ्टर देयर मॉर्निंग वॉक्स ड्रिंक इट इट्स बिकम द नॉर्म नाउ इट्स इट्स बिकम वेरी वेरी कॉमन राइट या आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ इट्स हेल्दी ओनली बिकॉज आई हैव सीन दिस साइड या बट इट सीम्स टू मी दैट इंडियाज आंसर टू हेल्थ इज ग्रीन 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 एवरीथिंग ग्रीन 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 या इट्स ऑल मडल्ड विद मल्टीपल आइडियोलॉजीज ओके वन इज हाइपर uh i call it hyper uh, patriotism hmm. india hai to india se aaya hai to usko aap bura kaise bol sakte ho theek hai bhang ki goli bhi theek hai uh, by the way it reminded me a client of i did a consult and this con- client of mine uh, apparently somewhere in in some some folklore it is said that bhang ki goli brings your hba1c down and he started buying the panch panchok wali bhang ki goli no it comes for 1 rupee it's horrible it's the worst kind of and, marijuana available in country for for some reason he said ma'am four points it fell but it f- screwed up my stomach pehle to acha lagta tha and then i had sleep problems i started i said bhang ki goli aapne apne aap se try kar liya kyunki kisi ne bola green hai bhang bhi green hi hai bhai yeah. no no it's it's <laughs> so what i use, yeah. so i was coming back about to finish the thought one this hyper patriotism second this whole saffron movement hmm. that is going on in the country okay third i don't think we have real ayurveda acharyas wisdom that is being propagated through it's uh, lost it's I, lost somewhere it is all lost because ayurveda does not condone meat Mm. okay but somehow this whole ayurveda culture has become green satvik all of that right if you actually look at ayurvedic texts there is a place for crocodile meat there is a place for rabbit meat there is a place for every kind of meat in the uh, in 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 the literature what are you saying sangeeta yes yes there is cannabis usage yes there is okay so uh, ayurveda follows the principles of what is your body type and i'm not going to get into it because i'm yeah, not yeah, yeah, uh, whatever into it but i think isko kahin ye sara movement change ho gaya hai and then this emotional attachment towards green hai to healthy hai main to bolti hu yaar cannabis green hai datura green hai cactus bhi green hai just because it is in nature and green it's not healthy mm. and just because it is red it is not dangerous right. red meat so i think this confusion and then living in that eco chamber and then your brainwash day in day which is why i don't go to instagram yaar takleef hone lagti hai mujhe so what are you seeing that is so problematic on instagram with these coaches because i do see a lot of for example instagram let's talk about twitter no i, I saw 
uh, Mr. Luke Coutinho, like yeah, uh, he, yeah. I think Summer was in a beef with him. Some some some. Summer was in happened. a beef. I've been in a beef with him. So what too. what exactly what was he espousing? That was what you thought was so nutritionally wrong. Any person of any scientific temper in the nutrition world by now knows that for any kind of NAFLD. fruit juice is a no no because in the absence of of alcohol the number one reason for nafld is fructose and i think that post suggested some strange kind of juices and it suggested and su- like somebody from look right that's a massive influencer sugar cane juice and this is some misplaced idea that every time people have had a problem with their liver they think sugar cane juice is good that's where i think summer had kind of got up and then hmm. i i had said that juice of any kind it's basically it it metabolizes the same way as alcohol without the buzz mm. it goes directly to your liver and it's not so i don't know where all these things come from and imagine the number of people who will drink sugarcane juice if you're diagnosed with an nafld carrot juice simple wisdom yaar if it can be eaten whole it should not be juiced correct it is simple logic right like why are you juicing the minute you juice fruits and vegetables you you do activate their anti nutrient profile in a much more concentrated form human beings could eat plants in a much better fashion when they discovered fire and cooking which destroyed certain anti nutrients in the plants and therefore we could tolerate them right so why are you going back to this raw way of eating and it's the similar case with meat we began uh, uh, we we began to uh, to survive better when we discovered ways of cooking meat storing meat uh, curing meat so otherwise meat will go bad right it will yeah. it will decompose right so why are you going back to eating that raw food and activating uh, uh, the entire anti nutrient profile and if you want to every plant has a mechanism of survival nature has given it to everybody Mm. and it plants it comes in the form of these anti nutrients right and therefore circling back to why carnivore has become so helpful and again i use that protocol i use it, it as a protocol i don't think it is the default human diet we have always been omnivores there has been some role of plant but maybe to a very small extent we were predominantly meat based uh that carnivore as a protocol autoimmune okay now this is not researched but all anecdotal autoimmune ibs autoimmune mood disorder uh, autoimmune um, uh, uh, inflammatory bowel disorder autoimmune uh, thyroid oh. uh, autoimmune and the biggest case is michaela peterson uh, her arthritis and jordan peterson right? and, and, and slightly close to the mic and yeah. jordan yeah, yeah? so i have used it for all of that uh, uh, psoriasis okay some people have tried it on rosacea so i'm saying it is a very useful protocol but to say that this is it nahi so mm. that's i want to come back to that so i think if you eat in this fashion right and you will know what plants you can tolerate you can't tolerate like you know that yeah do you think which reminds me whenever i eat apples very weirdly enough with the skin on I get a tingling in my ears. It makes no sense. Then I realize I might be allergic to apples. Or you might be allergic to uh, apples are polished and waxed. No, even if they're super raw apples. No, I'm saying the 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 apple that you see in the supermarkets for that shiny, healthy feel are yeah. waxed, polished and waxed with a substance. मैं तो उसकी बात कर रहा हूँ बिल्कुल सब्जी मंडी में दौड़ते थे. जो आप जो आपने घर वाली सब्जी मंडी टाइप होती है ना. So must be something in it is not working yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, the polished and waxed apples. Those are common. <laughs> those are common. I, I used to get a tongue burn. Yeah. Six seven years ago, and I never realized. And then I started the reading, and they say that they used to. wax it in some forms so that it looked shiny and healthy the so in america i used to go to the supermarket called star market in boston mm, when mm, i was studying mm. there there were six kinds of apples available mm. six or seven you know mm, typical mm, american mm. supermarket the cheapest apples looked the most tasty ah, looked the most tasty yeah. because they were waxed proper mm. now my roommate and i he would buy apples i would buy apples mm. i would see his apples i would see my apples my mm. apples looked weak दे लुक लाइक आधे थोड़े लाल हैं थोड़े येलो हैं या ऑड शेप ऑड शेप हैं वीर्ड हैं साइज नहीं है सो दे वर लाइक व्हाट लाइक 2 3 डॉलर्स फॉर लाइक सम अमाउंट ऑफ एप्पल्स दीस अदर एप्पल्स द वैक्स वंस 99 सेंट्स 80 सेंट्स एंड दैट्स प्रोबब्ली बिकॉज़ दे न्यू दैट व्हाट यू आर ईटिंग इज जंक या आल्सो जीएमओ हाइब्रिडाइज्ड 
all of that. Kept all of that. Is, is okay. GMO bad at all? Like I've heard so many things. I'm not. I'm, I've never been able to make up my mind about it. Why? Why are you messing with nature? Is a simple question. Okay. When you start getting lokis the size of a python, hmm. I don't want to eat that loki. <laughs> okay. That is where taste goes for a toss. Nutrient density goes. So you are not that smart. You can't outwit nature, man. I mean, give your body also some credit. It will know what is real food, and then it will show the damage. See what happened to wheat, na? Hmm. We, you know, for some reason we were talking about something that I don't tolerate at all. I don't tolerate wheat at all. Now, at all, it's not that I was gluten sensitive. You don't have celiac disease or sensitivity either. None, none of it. But I've, I've realized that if I have, if 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 I have to eat a carb, I'll eat a potato or some chawal. But wheat gives me a reaction. Immediately to that, I can almost sense the bloating happening. Mm. Then you know, a bot full ho raha hai. I feel like now I have to go to the loo to empty my stomach. And then you, wheat has been uh, hybridized in the 1960s, 70s, and though in in many cases gives the worst blood sugar spike for most people. So anything that has been GMO is not hybridized to an extent where you know you have you have. Uh, 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 Altered its properties beyond recognition. Why would you want to eat that? Having said that, we are a, we are in the modern world. Nothing is what it was many 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 years that ago. That is true. So you make your better your choices better. What best you can do. Yeah, that is why I like it's so weird. But this is very anecdotal and completely like yeah. a shot in the dark. I first I'm ye bilkul gala do sakta. People might hit, mm. uh, you know shame me for I don't care. I have noticed. in many of my male counterparts that there is just a general lack of testosterone main ye aise nahi bol raha hu because i have tested their levels or because i think because i eat meat so i'm superior and my t levels Nothing are like through that. the roof yeah i've overall noticed the carelessness with diets that the lack of exercise the lack of sunlight exposure and a kind of under development of even the body uh which is something i did not see in my father's generation and one could argue no 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 every generation thinks that their father's generation looked older mm, when mm, they were mm, of like say 21 22 mm, mm. but i generally see it that there is far less confrontational energy far less the kind of masculine assertiveness you naturally see right and I can easily spot the difference. कौन कैसा खाना खाता है पता लग जाता है कि उसकी ड्राइव क्या है एक्चुअली आई मेट सम वेरी इंटेलिजेंट मैन बट दे हैव नो ड्राइव दे लिटरली हैव नो ड्राइव एंड आई टोल्ड यू माई स्टोरी राइट दैट दैट बिकॉज ऑफ टी एम जे आई कुड नॉट वर्क आउट विच इज यू वर्क आउट राइट सो I was eating liquid diets first, which was horrible. So juicing, I had. I to, remember. Yeah, we were talking about. We it. talked My about God, it, right? Yeah, and I, and yeah. I yeah. messaged was, you like, what do I do? Correct. Then I got on to home page. I am reading chile paneer, whatever, right? That's just like carb, 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 uh, carb. Uh. Spend the entire day fasting. I'm working, and then I eat carbs. So I'm ruined. When I switched over, us time pe when we met, I had not done this diet. I dabbled. immediate effect on my testosterone to the point i walk and i'm always alive thrilled you know there is always energy there are things to do i feel i want to you know approach the other sex i want to do things in my life like i'm not you know saying this as meri zindagi badal gayi meat khake but <laughs> yeah oh you know on a side note i am saying that yeah. like it you're seeing changes yeah you you don't realize how testosterone depri you know uh, de- what's the right word testosterone uh, deficient most men are and maybe this is true for women as well i don't know like if with estrogen, estrogen with estrogen right if that's the case but the most palpable difference in my life after eating meat is the you know certain testosterone it's yeah. changed everything yeah a lot has gone wrong with our bodies yeah and with that is directly related to diets okay and after the last uh, uh, you know podcast in the testosterone thing went viral i'll i'll tell you the number of men who went and got it tested and under 300 under 200 190 what and i'm talking all men under the and age of 40 and how are they surviving like how and you know they are like ma'am is this a problem i'm like listen it's not like i said it's it can be fixed so many dms i got but at least the first thing is that 
यू नो दे से दैट अच्छा शायद इसीलिए आई एम नॉट फीलिंग टू चार्ज इन लाइफ आई सेट कुड भी उसके साथ अपना बी ट्वेल्व भी चेक करो आप ऑल दीज हैव रियल प्लेज ऑन योर न्यूट्रिशन एंड देन आई एम लाइक सब मिल इवन से एक्सोजीनियसली लेना है जरूरत नहीं है डोंट गो दैट पार्ट डोंट ऑल ऑफ दैट राइट सो देन यू नो इज द सेम थिंग गेट मोर प्रोटीन इन टू डेट स्टार्ट वर्किंग आउट मोर आई वोट ब्रिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू यू स्पोक अबाउट with our father's generation okay and why they seem to have a little more energy one of course uh, times were tough let's all admit mm. all our our parents generation times yeah. were tough it need comfort you, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it need comfort luxury na i want to talk about my dad mine is a vegetarian household my dad uh, but used to eat uh, um, eggs okay uh, so the activity that he used to do because we came from very humble backgrounds you know he used to go everywhere in a cycle mm. he would drop my brother to school in a cycle 6 kilometers come back then he would cycle 8 kilometers to his office and then he would be there and then he would come back cycling then he would do all the household chores same with my mom mm. our day to day activity was laborious which is why now when i look at it that generation to i always used to say us time pe mid life crisis aane ki luxury nahi thi kyunki you you had to do a lot for the family probably it was not just that probably you were also doing a lot laborious work right. you were active through the day you were constantly thinking you had a sense of responsibility all of this made you that man of the house hmm. right and then of course at that time therefore when people say oh you know my grandfather ate carbs and whatever your grandfather was toiling for 7 to 10 hours in the day man not sitting in a car going from one place to another and ordering from swiggy and zomato so when i see a combination of all of this so while probably my dad didn't eat meat and now when i think of him he was a very he he died of a accident but at 77 he was Uh, he was actually funnily part of the local RSS shakha. <laughs> he was very Hindu in that sense, and he used to participate in what is called uh, Senior Olympics. Mm. And he used to uh, 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 run 11 kilometers at the age of 77. That is insane. Yeah, and he, it is rather unfortunate that he fell from the first floor of the house and died of a head injury. Didn't have a single problem on an egg-based vegetarian diet. Damn. So I am saying that there are a more and more when i think of it you know your activity and in today's days why you you have to prioritize your exercise because you don't have the hardship of those days you are not cycling you are not walking 10 kilometers you are not you're doing manual labor you are in front of a la- some screen all the time and then your food is becoming shittier and shittier right there is more junk food there is more hyperpalatable food there is more vegan meat nonsense there is more oh, have you tried that Have never i meat? will never do th- i will starve i will not put that I in my mind i was recently out with a woman and she said i love this place we went to this place in bazaar market no i tried it she ordered a uh, mock duck oh my god yaar to be super honest it did taste in the middle of like paneer and meat and i would almost fall for it had i not realized that uh, you know which school of thought i belong to yeah <laughs> 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 At that point, I was like, "No, no, no, ideology, ideology first. No, 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 fuck this." <laughs> But no, I know it's, yeah. it's it's massively unhelpful. It's it's very bad for you. Yeah, which is why uh, you today have to make it an agenda to go and do some work. And if you're not going to maintain that exercise and do something about it and correct your nutrition, it's I don't know. Like, आगे आगे that 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 ICMR report that came out was crazy. What was the ICMR report? Hundred million. cases of diagnosed diabetics 136 million pre diabetic and these are all people who you have checked there are i know many who are walking around without even knowing mm. I, I, you, and you're building a weaker and a weaker and a weaker race and a weaker country going forward because you will pass these suboptimal genes when you reproduce i agree i don't agree. you yeah so uh, which is why when 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 a lady has Uh, gestational diabetes which is basically diabetes during pregnancy the possibility for her to become diabetic are more the possibility for her, the child to get diabetes is more all of this is researched and documented so so the child will will be born with diabetes no 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 
okay the possibility of the child becoming diabetic is higher hmm. because it's in that condition so if you control for all these so you don't that's what i'm saying you're building weaker generations weaker societies um and then people will will want to stay all puritanical so this is the endeavor it's going well so far and i i i i don't want to look at it like doomsday mm -hmm. okay and today i'm very happy we've discussed a lot about vegetarianism and i have actually given you the principles on how you can in various ways build your diet okay uh, unfortunately we call it vegetarianism but it is green be in a way yourself eat a little more vegetables and um, so i think there are options supplement a little you know now that i think about it my community gujars mm -hmm. uh, they are notorious dairy consumers probably the biggest every ones every time they bring haryana and they say vegetarianism i say what is saving haryana and the uh, your the, the community that you're talking gujars about gujars and jats yeah is dairy yeah. and where is it coming from it's coming from an animal right हर चीज जो लस्सी दही दूध पनीर वो सब वो कहां से आ रहा है भैया इट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ अ काउ लाइक दे आर वेजिटेरियंस यस दे आर गोना ईट टन्स ऑफ रोटी एंड एंड लाइक दाल वाल बट व्हाट विल सरपास ऑल ऑफ इट इज द वॉल्यूमिनस क्वांटिटीज ऑफ मिल्क दे कंज्यूम दही लस्सी लाइक एट वन फनी इंसिडेंट इज माय फादर एंड ऑल द पहलवान्स एक्चुअली आल्सो हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फैट हां व्हिच यू कैन सी विद द कार्ब्स Uh, yeah, they, they don't have the sculpted look, but that is a different. Uh, yeah. uh, what do you say? Uh, it's a different sport, and it's a different. Thing. But the, but their health is still far it's better. It's far better than exactly. like the because average person in Delhi. Because of the muscle mass and the dairy consumption and all the 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 exercises that they that they yeah. do, uh, which is all those Hindu uh, squats and all of that. I went to this uh, Haryanvi strongman's house, like in in Gurgaon, like two three years ago with my dad. Um, he, was, he used to be like a big. Chief Tain, strong one back in his day, still yeah. was doing some of those things, right? So he was probably like seventy plus, buff, still buff, mm. and he had all his, now all his chelas were not so buff because mm. they were all modern, right? So they yeah. didn't have the same diets. Yeah. Now I went to this place. Now at this point, I felt like you know I am like an avocado eater, avocado <laughs> sandwich eater, big greener cafe visitor. Like yeah. that was my yeah. life, you know, like farmer stable. Yeah. Correct. 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 Now this, they're like, okay, first of all, milk we drink. So warm milk was brought in, yeah. right? So milk we drink. Great. Then they're like, okay, okay. Now we're going to eat milk. Okay, mm. great. So milk and milk are coming. Great. Then after that, paratha will come. Paratha in the middle, what do they say? Ghee and sugar will be okay. Fantastic, no problem. Mm. Little sugary, but fine. Then after that, what will happen? Now we're going to drink tea. Great. Then we're going to drink lassi. Tea. My stomach went for a toss. I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> but imagine in this put even though it's it might be idios idiosyncratic the number of dairy items given to me in a span of an hour ha insane right what are you saying exactly see thoda swad wagera ke liye wo shakkar dal dete hain par wo unki activity bhi to aap dekho na you're telling ha. me he's the chieftain matlab he must be doing those uh, uh, those hindu squats and those all no, those no 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 like that like back in the day but like yeah 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 yeah, yeah i'm just saying that they are able to even eat that amount of paratha and sugar because laborious work yeah and but the tradition of eating is dairy heavy they will not let you leave the table without a lassi baby ever yeah. <laughs> you know like even even like in my own ancestral village when i go visit like they will just eat mithais all the time but they'll sit in a squat for like 2 hours mm. and then you know take long really long walks that yeah. like people like yahan pe log kya karte hain oh bro today i walked 2 kilometers great like You know, yeah. like it's, now it's, we have gadgets. So ten thousand steps, we have to count. It's become yeah. a thing because imagine getting people to move has become such a thing that ten thousand steps is a goal to achieve in a day. Yeah, which reminds me, you know, like let's talk about some of the markers of optimum health that doctors and common society advise versus the kind of markers that you see and you know uh, advise people to. For example, ten thousand steps. That is not even like the start. Right, like I. But huh. for somebody who's sitting, only sitting ten hours a day, it is a start somewhere. Yeah. Whenever, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, only fifteen percent of people on my program actually go to the gym. The other eighty-five percent, I have to coax, saying, "Can you please walk forty minutes in a day?" I'm not even putting a kilometer to that walk or steps yet to that walk. I'm just saying, forty-five minutes, you should be able to do at least four kilometers. Can you do that much? पांच दिन तो कर लो दिस इज हाउ आई नेगोशिएट सो दिस होल टेन थाउजेंड स्टेप्स अ डे बिकेम अ थिंग बिकॉज ऑफ हाउ सेडेंट्री वी आर
now here's what i tell people 30 minutes of some kind of activity four to five times a week okay my best go to is 30 to 40 minutes three times in the gym okay uh, i follow i follow uh, a 20 minute cardio some sort of a cardio walk after the gym sure the balance two days i will ensure that i i walk about again 30 to 45 minutes depending upon the, my walks are fast also so if it's the treadmill i'll do some sprints i'll do some combination sunday i do nothing mm. but five days to six days in a week if you're able to do this pattern you're good for general fitness maintenance of muscle mass now if you hit your protein levels if you do progressive uh, overloads you know the whole fitness pattern right. you can build muscle mass very well but generally everybody should be doing some form of resistance training because the benefits not just from a physical health standpoint i want to tell you the mental health benefits of lifting is is insane you know monday i knew i was going to i was having a very difficult conversation in my office and that was the last working day for me you mm. know because you know how corporates are when when you decide to i don't know to, how corporates are oh sorry when 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 it's a when it's when you when you've reached a point where uh, you're both doing the golden handshake usually you leave office that day there is no notice period and all of that right so i knew that 10 o'clock in the morning the that conversation it was a bunch of us right 10 o'clock in the morning that conversation is going to be had with me it's a difficult conversation i've been working for a very long time it's a mindset change morning i went in i i went to the gym i i did a good upper body workout with deadlift i came in fresh and i'm sitting in the conference room with 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 one of the 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 the, the group ceos from new york my current md and my cfo and they start saying you're very sorry but do you know what this is about i said i'm very well aware about what this is about and i laughed and i said uh, i completely get the scenario let's talk the final two questions what is my golden handshake looking like from a financial standpoint and what about my team and they for 15 seconds they were like oh they were expecting drama mm. they were expecting um, you know a lot of coaxing explanation then they were like uh they started laughing and then they finally anyways explained everything to me and why it's a con- conversation yeah. now i am not saying again i don't want to say ki maine dekho panch deadlift kar liya to it is it puts you in that right frame of mind when you're anxious right it brings you back to that center so that you are in that frame of mind to sit in a conference room and have that conversation I have seen this every time when I feel that there is a difficult like I'm having butterflies in my stomach or I'm I'm feeling very anxious I'm expecting a bad news you go and spend half an hour in the gym it somehow you get a positive feeling that things will be all right you'll handle it yeah, I, really, I don't know yeah. how many times you have experienced this but I always experience this benefit for me is an important enough benefit to go and hit the gym I read it somewhere on Twitter when you work out or sleep your problems fall to the level they're actually supposed to be at. Yes. Everything else is an amplification that yes. your mind does. Yes. Um this is something I've noticed particularly because I still can't work out right so I'd like to figure out what mm-hmm. what do I do mm-hmm. for mental health now that the workout is out. Correct because of the con- yeah. So so I started doing long walks. I noticed something very peculiar and I mm. went on my dad. Mm. So we both came to a conclusion. Agar hum bistar mein lete hue hote hain or phone aata hai we go into fight or flight hmm. even if it's a friend yeah. right because yeah. y- you're sort of in a prone position vulnerable you know like appendix exposed whatever hmm. uh sorry vital kya bolte hain isko vital organ exposed hmm. right it's a relaxed it's a relaxed yeah. state and suddenly yeah. you you're about to get a stressful call your response is to not pick the call which is like avoid the problem yeah or to say something half ass and make it yeah. worse yeah or third just wake up and fight or flight holy shit yeah. now say you get up early and you actually go on a walk mm. or you delay that call until mm. you go on a walk mm. now you're getting your entire body into the call you're walking your mind is a little bit more relaxed mm. you're thinking clearly mm. right mm. you're walking it's almost like you're ready for the world yeah. so that it, if if it hits you with a problem you're ready to tackle it yeah but in the bed or lying around in the house yeah. sedentary yeah. anyone calls you your entire system is going to shut down yeah. there is no mechanism to prevent yeah. to prevent you from collapsing yeah. funnily i do all my calls walking now See? that you tell me in fact all my 45 minute 
I think I, I complete my steps like this. All my 45 minute consults are all walking. I'm walking, walking, walking. It's talking. great for brainstorming yeah, also because yeah, you keep getting I, ideas. I keep walking so much so that now if 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 a call comes, I get up and walk. Yeah, it's a become an automatic thing. But that's a great uh, uh, insight that you have there. Yeah, because because when we did that, we realized, like my dad, like he he would say, you just see the call, like just silence. It was like, oh my god. Yeah. I, and I yeah. and I mimic the same behavior. It was like, arey yar, you kyu phone kar raha hai, kyu phone. Like I don't want to deal with it, you know. Yeah. But the moment I'm out and about walking. I will start calling people. Unko uthaunga main. You know, you're the one in <laughs> yeah, bed. Like, yeah, you're in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge, yeah. It's, it's such a weird thing of yeah. how if you just sort of go in locomotion, a lot of your problems start yeah. solving. Yeah. It's it's like it's when you will actually you're most primed to then even change behavior. Yes. Like you'll go on a walk, you'll maybe eat better Correct. after that, right? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And I have seen this every time in my life when I've gone off exercise. I have deviated diet also. Hmm. When I'm exercising, my diet remains my my usual. I'm talking even about the little deviations or indulgences right. that we tend to do. Na, ek din ke baad, ek din and then those are the periods when I've probably not gone to the gym hmm. or not done any activity or something has happened. Ki main ek hafte kuch kar nahi paayi hu. The you set the activity pattern back somehow. The discipline. I'm telling you, the discipline of of working out has so many spillovers that it is the most. Underrated thing on the planet. It's a keystone activity. It's yeah. the thing that spills. Uh, you're right. It spills it's, over into everything. It spills over to everything. Uh, that that benefit. Uh, hmm. Should we take your Twitter questions? You had sure, an interesting sure. tweet, before but before, before that, that, yeah. I wanted to ask you something else. Hmm. Um, why? Okay, how do I? Is this controversial? No, 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 no. <laughs> do you think Liver King? Spoils the reputation of an animal-based diet with his theatrics. People like that always do, yeah. Unfortunately, it gets such a rap. Um, uh, people, people who you know actually take tons of all of these. Whatever he was on, I didn't read that whole leak team. He was on a bunch of steroids. He was on a bunch of steroids. But trust me, you look at that body. You know it's not natural. Yeah. I mean, even the raw eating of the meat. Yeah, I think that was all gimmicky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, again, this all need to be this kind of superhuman, right? Stop doing that because truly that's not sustainable. Okay, and why are you doing that? So, I think that was just for influencer currency uh, status, right. some But economics and what. But done he, is, what yeah. is done is. it you know the entire carnivore animal based community got a rap okay because they were shoving this liver king on your face and they said isse acha to hamara hi theek hai inki suno you know the whole bashing and the ridiculing happening and people who are probably borderline like you at, at the last time who are probably hmm. wanting to shift to a different way of eating they are like yaar ye to scam hai hmm ye ho jata hai you know that that is what i'm uh, that is the problem which is where i'm i always say again going back to making uh, making cults out of your way of eating okay you actually uh, um, you actually create barriers for yourself hmm. more than being more accepting what about all those people who have been in twitter broils with you simply on the basis of unki nutrition information kuch aur thi and then Either you block them or they block you, and I've seen some of them. They comment on my stuff, you know, yeah. like um, the spillover. Like I've had much no bigger spillover than Sangeeta here spillover on my Twitter, <laughs> because the moment I tag you, all the people from across the board come in, like, oh, this Arab man, this man, this fuck all thing. But now a lot of these people like uh, soya chunks are advocating soya and stuff. Okay, When I'll you, tell yeah. you where the biggest beef is. Hmm. <laughs> Pun intended. Sure. Two, uh, two, three areas. Okay, that calorie counting and being in a calorie deficit, eating everything that you want in moderation is the way to health. I counter on every point. Okay, while I do believe that energy density, uh, which means the amount of energy intake via food and the amount of energy uh, expenditure via your body's mechanisms and what you do are important. Okay, a calorie is not a calorie. the quality of your macros are important instead of you regulating counting calories allow your body to do it for you 
which is why when you're on higher protein based diets satiety happens and you your body restricts the calories you're not restricting it right so, one i have countered on all of this and they sit with this law of th- thermodynamics thing and and till date not a sink uh, i've worked with about 1800 people now over the last 3 years not one person's nutrition chart contains the number of calories they are count uh, they are consuming such a relief and they are so happy that they don't have to know what yeah they only know the proportion of their meals what foods they can eat and then that's how they're able to sustain for life so this is the number one beef they say it is deficit 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 i say no it is not a deficit okay um the second beef so this is the, the this is how traditional if this was working so well okay why are people obese like do we not know how to count calories do we not know how much whatever and then of course you know they say i fear monger about sugar and carbs not once have i yes sugar is a problem Sh- and it has sugar has proven to be a problem because there is no um uh, what do you say there is no boundaries on the amount of sugar you consume see everywhere uh, legally socially from pure standpoint to product advertising alcohol any substance of any any substance of abuse like drugs you know that it is bad for you sugar is just the opposite there is there is social acceptance legally it is allowed char gulab jamun kha lo to koi pastries cake shops yeah, cafes every, everything in pop culture you are allowed to indulge in copious amounts of sugar yeah the best okay? ads are by cadbury exactly ha huh? and see if you if you had a breakup vinamra and you were drinking for 3 days in a row fourth day summer will come and give you a kick on your backside and say what the fuck are you doing right mm. keep eating sugar and pizza nobody is going to say anything to you okay so i have a beef against the over consumption of sugar because it is not regulated and it is insidious and it is insidious for a reason because you cannot go to a supermarket today and find a single product 99.99% of the products have sugar in it That's you true. don't know so i'm a voice against that where these guys will will put out um, what aaj main gulab jamun kha raha hu aur aaj maine aam ras pi liya and all of that again i don't have a problem with fruits so i have a problem with fruit juice and all of that right this everything in moderation is okay as far as you go to the gym is the second thing that that i'm against because you can go to the gym and temporarily out exercise the density of calories but you cannot reverse the metabolic um disadvantages that you're causing to your body by constantly doing this this is the reason why carb loading marathoners after a period of carb loading during marathon end up at diabetic or pre diabetic levels because i really? have eight marathon runners who are either pre diabetic or diabetic all your carb loading carb loading carb loading cyclists and marathoners right so thode samay ke liye aap 19 20 karke workout karke karke aap us khane ka thoda bahut you know net negative ko aap handle kar sakte ho but the metabolic damage that you are causing to internally your system that damage is only progressively getting bad so that is the second point third point is that biggest voice on meat based nutrition that it is superior 100% it is superior okay there is no questions asked by that i i have offered enough solutions for vegetarians okay so i have given that uh so the other thing is low carbohydrate diets is a fad now there are hundreds of papers why you should be low carb i went into low carb from a therapeutic standpoint for a health standpoint that is what i do with other people aapki carb tolerance hai to aap kha lo okay but why and then questions like or oh, you can't you can't lift heavy on a low carb diet you can't lift when you fast you can't do this when you're low carb there is carb we are a carb eating nation that is a problem hum itna carbs kha rahe yahi to problem hai right and finally the soya chunk hmm okay the word i'm telling you if you go and look at the research okay for every paper that counters soya there is a there is a soy there is a paper that 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 Uh, uh uh espouses the benefits of soy okay so the word is out there there is no conclusive uh uh kind of a word on soy is it that political very poli- and i'll tell you why it is political i'm coming to that yeah. okay but common sense tells me and i've been around for a while that every time suddenly your supermarkets 
your food startups your celebrities uh, big billionaires invest in something and that is touted as the next big thing it has never turned out well for us i will start with cigarettes hospitals people used to smoke in the 60s and the 70s you've seen those ads tobacco yeah. companies lobbied against cigarette smoking they said they were, those ads are funny they go around on twitter kids were shown eating formula milk as the best thing as an alternate to breast milk we know what happened after that and then then now we are back to the whole thing that breast milk is be best for you we know uh, uh, we know what was done with coke pepsis and beverages you had kids drinking them okay we've seen how that gone you remember dalda of course vanaspati ghee yeah we were eating that for 20 years or 15 years and then they then they turned around and said no trans fat causes cardiovascular disease now there is so much happening upon on soy every uh, uh, vegan uh, uh, you know mock meat is based out of soy suddenly soy is being marketed every influencer in the vegetarian space is sell selling you tempeh don't you want to think about it a little why why is soy in front of you so much any time healthy food doesn't need marketing real superheroes don't wear capes so i'm not going to wait 20 years for another set of research like for dalda and trans fat and for uh, uh, for for cigarettes to come out and say oh we fucked up i'd rather say don't eat it we don't know but like lots of people eat it man jahan jata hu wahan aise so aaj aap kha rahe ho the uska aaj effect nahi aayega but what is like what's so wrong with soy like what, what is the I'm problem i'm saying now see one one it is an it is an inferior uh, uh, plant based protein it has been gmo it is known soy is a, a so, soy plant protein knows to inhibit it is known to cause thyroid problems it gives digestion issues in people uh, uh, at some point it is estrogenic in nature in what quantities at what point it will come and hit men i don't know okay when soy isoflavones are given to menopausal women why are men eating it and again there will be backlash they saying does this woman know at what quantities you should eat it are bhaiya i'm saying itne sare problems है इस चीज को अनहाइजीनिक दिखता है उसका जो वर्जन ट्रेडिशनली बनता है कम से कम वो तो खाओ जो टोफू है या यू नो पर आप वो नहीं खा रहे हो चाप खाते हैं सोया चाप हाँ ट्विटर पे डाल दिया था मैंने कल दिल्ली का सोया चाप कल सोनू सोया चाप दिखा नो इट्स वेरी कॉमन एंड आई सी वेरी वेरी obese fat kids eating soya chap all the time एंड उसमें मैदा और गंदा तेल एंड सो माई होल पॉइंट इज use a little any time when there has been media marketing effort and huge level of fitness influencers spend abnormal amount of dollars celebrities invest in something multi billionaires buy lands for soy farming you know who i'm talking about yeah uh question what is being fed to the masses ऐसे तो हमारे को लास्ट टाइम कौन से भी बोला था कि संगीता इज आल्सो फ्रॉम अ मीट लॉबी आई एम फ्रॉम अ मीट लॉबी व्हाट डू यू से दैट हां पता नहीं कौन सा मीट लॉबी है मुझे कोई पैसे नहीं मिल रहे कहां है मीट लॉबी मिलना तो चाहिए मुझे एक पोल्ट्री लॉबी भी मुझे कोई पैसे नहीं दे रहा ना एग लॉबी दे रहा है <laughs> मैं तो फ्री की कर रही हूं दैट एक्चुअली दैट इज वेरी स्ट्रेंज दैट दिस इज अ होल कंसर्टेड एफर्ट टू ओनली प्रमोट सोय बिकॉज़ देयर आर वेरी अदर वेजिटेरियन प्रोटीन्स दैट डजंट मेक सेंस हां सोय इज एट द टॉप फॉर सम रीजन क्यों लेंटिल पास्ता के पीछे कोई नहीं पड़ रहा है कोई मतलब लेंटिल पास्ता की लॉबी कहाँ है बट सॉय क्यों वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिल गेट्स इज डेफिनेटली लाइक गॉन अप एंड बियॉन्ड एंड प्रमोटिंग इम्पॉसिबल मील एंड वॉट नॉट राइट सो इन फैक्ट बिफोर वाई सार क्वेश्चन ट्विटर सो यू नो कार्टर रोड यू बिन टू कार्टर रोड मुंबई गाइड a friend of mine took me there and she's like you know I'm a मेरे को वीगन खाना पसंद है लाइक ग्रेट एट दिस पॉइंट लाइक आई हैव वॉज हैविंग मीट नॉट सो मच So actually, this is the same trip when I met you. Ah. Same, same trip. You told me this story, na? Yeah, I did. Lamb, I did. The, we, 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 yeah, okay, okay. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, there is a smiling lamb. It plays. They play on your yeah, emotions. Yeah, they, they play on your emotions. There's a yeah, smiling yeah, lamb yeah. that because yeah. we are using mock meat. This is meat, alive. This this <laughs> lamb is alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I it's very beautiful. You told me. That is the like one. But im im im. But what are you appealing to? Like e ethics, I ethics, uh, innocence, kindness. That's what they try to appeal to. because There's, you yeah. know if you remember there is that shots of um, one shot of this guy um, that went viral where he was actually speaking to a plant plant based advocate and he said do you know to grow avocados and soy 
how many bees and oh right uh, if you if if you want your vegan food it's Ted Nugent Nugent the the singer who's now a farmer yeah, rancher he's yeah. talking to Joe Rogan yeah for every single vegan food that you want I have to kill like this many rodents this many how many how much so what what ethics and violence are you talking about yeah 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 That's... you have to be very naive to think that if you are alive in this world and you're eating something something else is not getting killed or compromised life doesn't work like that that's true i, I got very angry messages from vegans when we yeah. you know aired yeah. our episode yeah. and the episode with summer yeah and it seemed to me that they have a problem um where their biggest argument is the ethics argument yeah and like i i like you also then you know like everything you use in your life is made from something like it's but is there any merit at all before i go into the questions mm. any merit at all to a vegan diet any like chota se chota bhi ho sakta hai like feeling light or nice i have uh, i have been vegan for exactly 2 weeks in my life so i am not i cannot say that okay. uh, very early on um, but bahut uh, uh, sirf dairy because unhone bola ki skin better ho jayegi to dairy bhi chhod diya tha all the research i have read all the people who've spoken to me everything that i have seen on a vegan diet it is a diet born out of an ideology that is not suitable for human beings that is my last conclusion around it okay it is very very well known documented that on a vegan diet you have to supplement the planning of your meals has to be i mean you have to know your food so well okay and even then you have to supplement which is why you have all these instagram accounts that say oh blo- i mean imagine normalizing bloating and farting why is that normal then you have to come up with all these rid- ridiculous arguments on this side and then or you have to say climate change and all of that okay and funnily they find it easy to market all these ridiculous you know it's a very interesting thought all the woke ridiculous ideas are marketed towards women Hmm. Okay, beautiful at any size, healthy at any size. Most of the vegans are women. Okay, uh, it's okay not to have children. Go go child free. Hmm. Okay, toxic masculinity. <laughs> right. It almost seems like there is a conspiracy to target women so that we don't. populate ourselves further or there is some destruction i know this so- sounds like a conspiracy no, theory no, right not. now but see why are women falling for all this rubbish like little any little comment by you today a, a girl will turn around and say patriarchy hmm. toxic masculinity veganism fat is beautiful i am embracing my body okay self love self care real self care is eating right going to the gym uh taking care of your family being a mother if possible contributing to the economic well being of the house all that is that is real self care and family care so yeah. i don't know why women are are falling for all of this small story 2019 last year of college uh big jordan peterson fan at this point mm. you know completely like enamored by mm. by his ideas at that point so go to puppetry class that i've taken for mm. fun one of the professors is a woman who teaches early chi- early boyhood big mm. literary class mm. as a woman no problem theek hai mm. let it mm. be first assignment is make a puppet show on toxic masculinity i've been boston university spending 36 dollars 36000 dollars a year make a puppet show on, on toxic, toxic masculinity oh all of these things that i thought i heard from peterson me lagta tha ye to mazak ki baat hai institutionalized ho raha hai right? institutionalized wo hua exactly. us time pe mere samne to maine kaha ye kya ho gaya and i'm i'm in the arts college i was yeah. in the communications communications yeah. communications college is a sharper like they won't allow for yeah. so much of that yeah. but the arts college is just like it's wild wild yeah. west right yeah. so like i'm getting angry now because i'm i am also indoctrinated from some yeah. level right yeah. i also know that traditional yeah. roles kya hote hain yeah correct and this is seep into the uh, yeah. colleges more than i think it has yeah I confront the teacher afterward and I say listen there were two dudes in the class they're 18 hmm. unhe pata bhi nahi hai wo kaun hai abhi you know hmm. i am 22 at this point hmm. but they're 18 now they have to go and think in their heads oh i am a toxic masculine let me think what Man, that is yeah what that is yeah and look so what they made was like okay toxic masculinity is like you know two elephant puppets hmm. and instead of like matlab like the one guy is like 
I don't know what the fuck they mean. I can't remember, but like it was so weird. I had a conversation with her, and she was like, uh, "You know, I'm open to a discussion, whatever." But I got discussion guy. You already did the damage. No, this is our Correct. first class, and yeah. you teach a class in early boyhood. You taught us to make a puppetry show on toxic masculinity, yeah. and you think you know very well about how society yeah. works, right? Yeah. And so after that, she and I could never see eye to eye. The other professor I got along with. But realize this is very pervasive, and it's happening yeah. in India as well. Yeah. See, I don't know. It's become so difficult to have this conversation, especially among women. You know, at the at least men, na. See, men, you can let's say you put put on fifty kgs. You know, summer or somebody will come and yeah. tell you get oh, your ass to the very harsh. Very harsh. You're so harsh with, with, but with even, each even other. But even like like I, I, some low T men. This is what I will say. Yeah. No, no, bro. It's okay. Like it's very different. Yeah, yeah. but in women, na, I I don't know why you cannot have this conversation with a woman as saying, dude, don't you think it's getting a little too much now? Can you can we can we do something about it? The entire conversation will be, don't be harsh on yourself. You know, uh, love yourself, and then जो मर्जी जैसे मर्जी कपड़े पहनो, फिर Instagram पे जाके reels में नाचो, फिर उसमें तालियाँ आपको. And मुझे लग रहा है तुम इतने मतलब unhealthy. at the same time i am not i am not saying that i'm calling you a glutton or a like i'm not saying you're a uh, you're a sloth main ye nahi bol rahi hu ki tum lazy ho I'm, that is not the well that language never works okay even this language is not this whole going the other spectrum yeah. why can't we discuss that what is the issue and what can we do about it that conversation you cannot have nowadays there are so many Actors, actresses, and influencers so who remain so, fat yeah. because they get validated for being fat. Yeah, exactly. So much so, when I start my uh, consults, you know, I, I have phrased it, and obviously, most of them are, you know, overweight, fat, obese. Mm. You can't use these words, so I have to say, from the numbers you've given me, I see that you're carrying excess body fat. This is how my language is. Versus at one point, when I was eighteen, nineteen, and when I first started training, my trainer would say. बहुत मोटे हो आप और ये यू नो थोड़ा खाना कम इट सिंपलर टाइम लाइक आई एम सिंग यू हैव टू नॉर्मलाइज दोस कॉन्वर्जेशन एज हेल्दी कॉन्वर्जेशन अदरवाइज आई एम सो सैड दैट द वीमेन आर टारगेटेड एंड दे बाय इन टू ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड देन दीज वीमेन बिकम वेरी अनअट्रैक्टिव प्रोपोजिशंस फॉर मेन and then there is this whole divide of men and women and then the family you see how this has a ripple effect yes family structures go away health goes away and then it seems like we are all becoming institutionalized in and becoming whatever robots of some kind uh, uh in that sense so i think yeah. a little bit thinking is needed and the same thing happens for men as well like if men don't develop the ability to speak with women or like correct uh, you know like work on their lives uh raise their status become good kind and strong yeah and uh, they and uh, if they don't do that right women reject them Correct. and so they become women hating them they're Correct. like you know you aurte to ghatiya hi hoti hai Haan, so it's it's yeah. basically incel versus feminist exactly that's that's the two spectrums of and this and both lead to complete decline of the family unit and social systems yeah. if you ask me and somewhere people must be wondering why we suddenly discuss this okay. but somewhere i believe it's all tied in and going back to the basics keeps it all in place like eat properly have a exercise routine everything is in place you know that you have to go do some work be an entrepreneur then you are then you are then you are not you are not when your mind and body is strong to brainwash you and to feed you certain ideologies is is yeah. not so easy yeah i have realized that If you do your due diligence on your body, social media feeds won't do you any harm. Any harm, exactly. Yeah. Today, I can see anything happening on Instagram, and I don't feel that my life is shit. I I know this is some reel going on, like it's a, it's a show reel only of everybody's life going on, right? So, so I think that's where it all comes back to eating properly, taking care of yourself. Then you're not, you're not, you're not, uh, you're, you will not succumb to all these narratives. That is true. but we will succumb to these narratives yeah, which i have on my phone um bahut logon ko maine block kiya hai bahut logon ko main unki to wo to yaar like yeah, the ones you blocked they didn't yeah, ask yeah. questions they're more like is name is it kaise kar diya etc 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 that's not helpful for your audience so we can discuss yeah. questions that are helpful i think a lot of these have been covered ha huh? mm. but okay 
So I think I will take this. This is the wise Tamarin asked me, huh. how do I know if a doctor I'm consulting for my chronic health issues is giving good advice and prescriptions? Number one, what is the validity of low carb for IBS, SIBO, SIBO, reflux, gastritis issues? Okay. Two different questions there. First, validity of low carb for SIBO, um, uh, IBS, irritable, gastritis, irritable bowel syndrome, reflux, any, any form of reflux, GERD, okay, it's very good. Okay, now, depending upon how severe your IBS is, if it's a normal kind of an IBS, I can, with low carb, cutting the sugar, cutting wheat, cutting starch, cutting a lot of high fructose fruits, this can be man managed, okay? IBS is very tricky, there is no formula around it. Uske triggers bahut alag -alag hote hain, okay? In extreme cases of IBS, uh, where shayad aapko ya to wo autoimmune hai ya nahi hai, then you go to the complete other spectrum of low carb, which is carnivore. So, for acid reflux, for GERD, for uh, general bloating, for burping, you know, people have this habit of burping constantly, 100% low carb works and you will, depending upon how compliant and how bad your issues are, as little as three weeks to eight weeks, you will start seeing changes. Hmm. So, that's on this one. Now, how do you know your doctor is giving you the right suggestion? See, um, the medical fraternity knows, unfortunately, very little about nutrition. They are governed by certain guidelines and they're also, as much as I have spoken, uh, not so much in favor of them, they, I have also seen the other side of the realities they have. They're under massive pressure, okay? They don't have the time to sit and do the counseling, okay? Even when they counsel, they get frustrated because pa uh, the patients don't listen to them, mm. okay? <clears throat> Largely, my advice is this, okay? If you are anywhere in the spectrum of metabolic syndrome, which is any form of acidity, GERD, uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, 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 cholesterol issue, PCOS, okay? Depending upon where you are at this, use medicine for support, but always examine your nutrition. Mm. I'm not saying don't go take any medication. No, it is life-saving, okay? If, you're, if your sugars are crazy, you will need medication, depending upon how crazy they are. If your liver and if your gout is causing you pain, you will need somebody. But that is temporary management. If you don't resolve this, then it's not going to help. Now, there are enough resources. You can work with people like me who will take the time and do it. If you are into reading, you can, okay? But usually for metabolic diseases, completely relying on, on doctors and on pills without addressing the root cause of nutrition doesn't help anybody. There are so many other things for which you have to rely on uh, for doctors and they are, they've been there. Uh, for do that for them. Now, how do you know if your doctor is giving you good advice? I have seen from a nutrition standpoint, not many doctors give great advice. But now there are so many resources, Vinamra. Like, mm. uh, if your last... Um, port of call is anyways going to be medication and suffering, then try one of us crazy people who are espousing crazy uh, nutrition uh, ways of eating, whether it is low carb, whether it is carnivore. Yeah. You have nothing to lose. The upside is maybe things will get better. Right? Sounds good. I think yeah. that's a valid yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, certainly as far as nutrition and advice is concerned, if I've ever taken it from a doctor, if I could take it from a doctor now, I would just shit bricks. Because yeah. what they would put me on would be very different. Not, again, not dismissing the medical fraternity. I think they have their uses. But yes. I, I I do not know if, like, a, maybe like a nutritional certification or a nutritionist's job is a little different than like, yeah. you know, helping solve a complicated disease through yeah. surgery or medicine. It's a yeah. little different, right? It's a different, yeah. And and f as far as lifestyle is concerned, sadly, when I saw clinics, some doctors tend to, kisi ko diabetes hai, it's a very, I'm a zombie, you're a zombie, let's keep being zombies. Let's yeah. not like actually fix your lifestyle. Yeah. Like do the bare minimum, that's it. See, the medical fraternity is into sick care, not health care. Unfortunately, their entire, uh, and nothing bad with that. There are other forms, I mean, there are other forms of illnesses. Agar mm. kuch toot gaya, gir gaya, kuch ho gaya. That right. sickness needs care. It's And I'm not undermining them. They play a very critical role there. But what you are plagued today with is, 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 is the lack of health care. And that starts with what you're eating. And somehow veterinary doctors know this very well. 
ever every time you have if you've had a dog or a cat you take them or who whatever you are you are is a pet at your house you take them to a doctor the first question the vet will ask kya khila rahe ho usko Very ask any anybody who's owned a dog or a that's cat that's not the or same or question our doctors ask us human doctors there is a long history of what you're feeding the animal that gets asked for dogs and everything and and then it gets into we are not asked that that is the same principle that applies wow huh I mean, I guess because a dog can't speak, so. But no, actually, that no, argument doesn't is, fly. No, it is there is yeah, some yeah, yeah. some I and uh, it is some understanding that at animals or maybe they just think that animals are just eating, sleeping, screwing, procreating creatures. So we have to address that bit. Unfortunately, yeah. we are also that only little Correct. bit of consciousness we have. Yeah, because <laughs> like you know, ki isko ye reaction hua hai. Aapne isko ye khana khilana tha, to uska species appropriate diet hai. Haan, aapne kuch aur khila diya. Haan, sabka species appropriate diet hai. Bas hamara kuch bhi chalta hai. <laughs> so true, so true. On that note, where's my fun flips? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is solved. Okay, this is a pretty loaded question, so you can answer which one you want because it's 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 a lot of things. So I'll ask you this one. This is from Doctor Yogesh Sher. Um, ah, Doctor Yogesh. I know Doctor Yogesh. Doctor Yogesh. Well. Yeah, ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she cook her meat? How many times does she eat? I think you've already sort of addressed. You eat twice a day. I usually eat twice a day. Very rare. How very, do you cook very, it, though? This is a very important question. How I cook my meat? I usually use some form of animal fat, uh, which is basically either butter or ghee. Uh, I have also realized one thing that over the years, when you consume so much meat. you like it to be uh, minimal ingredients uh, that's when it is more palatable that makes my food a clearer uh, a cleaner so usually my food is salt pepper some steak rub which will be mixed herbs all of it is largely grilled mm. i over a period of time because i eat only meat and a trace veggie here and there gravy khana mere khane se chala gaya hai Hmm. So you will not see me make a the 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 butter chicken gravy and the uh, mutton rogan josh all of that. More and more now that I'm eating red meat, I've become a fan of steaks. Easier to cook, cleaner, ten minute thing. So a lot of mine is grilled meats with minimal ingredients. I once in a while will enjoy the traditional Indian recipe. Hmm. I'm a big fan of using coconut milk in my food. I somehow find it very therapeutic, especially. The, that one rare time when i get a cold or something coconut milk on top of the meat or like in like for example prawns in coconut milk like the okay, thai okay. version got like it, the thai it, version got it, got of the food i i like it because the flavors are very mild uh so this is basically how i eat awesome awesome uh, he certain like a whole uh, yeah the like other thing. questions oh it says okay we already addressed this yeah. already addressed this damn i think i ask better questions in this twitter <laughs> Um, वहां सिर्फ झगड़े होते हैं झगड़े <laughs> <laughs> होते हैं और कुछ नहीं होता हाँ मतलब यही छोटी मोटी चीजें हैं you're a living creature you're an animal too okay it's a very naive thought to think that your creation your living is has no violence i have come to terms with it the way i have come to terms from my consciousness is that i'm very thankful for the privilege that i get to eat all of this i tend to keep my wastage very low i tend mm-hmm. to uh, uh, you know eat everything that there is no wastage in my house um and uh, this is the the first the first duty you have even when, when you talk consciousness also now is the body that you are born in okay sure if you don't let if you don't do that duty properly you cannot do any other duty properly okay and i have realized that this way of eating allows me to do that duty in a better way so that is how i i talk to myself yes i do have points of view on farming on 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 industrialized uh, uh, agriculture uh, on industrialized meat farming i do not agree with all those practices but currently i make the best use of what i have what is your bio say plants are medicine i never sort of got like i like what does that mean plants are medicine because in small quantities normally we all do fine because if you look at hunter gatherer societies okay uh 
a large part of our nutrition came from animals and plants like berries, tubers, etc. were consumed in small quantities to keep us going for a while when we couldn't probably make the next hunt. And mm. in that quantity, somehow, we are all able to tolerate them. So I, I thought you meant like, uske leaf nah, nah, for like when I say plants are medicine, in medicinal quantities, I, I eat see, them, like I a see. dosage. Like a pill. So I always yeah. say meat is food, plants are medicine. Got it. Just now like I got that. it. Because I could never get that's, it. And I was like, the, maybe the, you're talking about ayahuasca or DMT. No, 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 no. no. Okay, someone is asking. You don't have to answer this. You can edit it out if you don't want this. Um, why is she so hateful and militant towards other coaches? We sort of address that. But this is an important question because what certifications has she completed till now? People for some reason want like certain status signals or credibility timestamps. Okay, so if you show me your bank account, I'll tell you my certification. That's the response I want to give this lady. Okay. Uh, the only person who needs to know my certifications are clients that pay me. Okay. okay. Uh, and currently, every day, there is a certain platform that puts out uh, uh, D-Life, which puts out that I'm a certified uh, nutritionist. So that is one of my certifications. I have three. Uh, you really want to know my certifications? Come pay me, become my client, you will know it. Solid. Wow. <laughs> That's how you do a press conference, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so so full disclaimer, you know. Hanji. Any of these questions, yeah, this is not going to come to the podcast, I'm telling you. Achha. We'll cut these out if you don't want to answer them. But I still have more questions that these have, guys have asked me. We'll see what are there. Take it, take it, take it. This is, you know, I'm just telling you. This is well. yeah, on discretion, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, there's no stress. I don't want to put you in a spot where you yeah, ask, yeah, yeah. you're not comfortable. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. We can even remove the certification stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm very yeah. okay with yeah. that, okay? Yeah. Um, because I did some screenshots, and there were only five, and then more qu comments have come in now. No, no, yeah, yeah I know. Let's okay. chat about it. So, th this guy asks, thoughts on liver dog steaks? And I've seen liver doc sort of come up as a character on social media. What do you like? What do you think about that? So here, uh, uh, take anybody, and I probably had a beef with that person. Okay. You had a beef with him? Yeah, yeah, I had, and then he blocked me. Uh, but we had a beef on saturated fat and red meat. Okay, so his take was, uh, don't eat, be very cautious in eating red meat uh, and saturated fat beyond the recommended 6%, 8% is not good for you. And there is enough, again, evidence, he talks a lot about evidence-based, evidence-based, whatever. There is enough evidence-based research to show that both these uh, uh, actually uh, are not harmful, okay? Now, I have a lot of respect for liver doctor for being a liver doctor. So whatever he's done with the liver doctor, as a liver doctor, Dr. Abby Phillips is his name, I think. In terms of handling cases, some of his cases have been very interesting. The, I think the point where it got very difficult for, uh, for a lot of other people is the arrogance, number one. For me personally, I don't care about his arrogance. He can keep being arrogant and feel like Akshay Kumar. Uh, uh, I don't bother about that. But I don't understand takes where they say only if there is a uh, double-blinded, randomized control trial with so many people and it proves this thing, then only it is true. In nutrition and in fitness, it is impossible. Mm. Okay? So, for example, just because you have not been able to conduct or for whatever reason the past that maybe have not been able to conduct a, a proper nutrition on the effect of red meat based diets in controlling for various variables uh, properly and to actually long term show its results that is not okay but artificial sweeteners and diet sodas are okay so i have a problem with these kind of takes okay uh, so turmeric is bad Okay, but uh, artificial sweeteners are okay because until now no research has proven otherwise. This is the same cigarette story I narrated uh, some time ago, the same Pepsi Coke kind of a story, the same trans fat story. Are you going to every time wait for some RCT to come to exercise some amount of discretion and common sense? That is where I have a problem. Now, I also understand why he needs to show studies because he's a doctor, right? So he has to sound evidence-based, at least from a legit standpoint. So, okay, you're doing it, do it. 
my stance on artificial nutrition uh, on artificial sweeteners it was last time also i said you don't have it as limited in quantity the better because you don't have enough in information just because you don't have in, in, enough information doesn't mean you go ahead and consume it that makes sense yeah to utna hi na this whole <laughs> you know it's so stupid you know, it it's so much fun to hang out with you in person when i see your twitter even i am scared because i'm like i am not really no 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 like not not as square i'm like it's it's sad that nutrition is so politicized it should yeah. not be yeah i mean at the same time then because i don't have the answer the issue is you can't also at the same time say jo sab ko sahi kare ke wo karo because that is also wrong not true exactly so it's it's a very difficult problem to solve yeah and then that i think i have realized that that's what it you know a lot of clients they they think i'm i'm they actually say i'm very understanding very jovial very yeah no we very, had such very, fun hanging out yeah i'm i'm i give i have a i have a solution based approach to a, almost everything but on twitter to cut through this clutter it's not that i have taken on a personality yeah. that is i told you that assertiveness and at least thankful for that until abhi tak nutrition mein chal kya raha tha yaar amla kha lo isme vitamin c hai स्पिनच खा लो इसमें क्या है आयन है साफी पी लो नींबू पानी पी लो नींबू पानी पी लो वरना यू नो करेले का जूस पी लो डायबिटीज के लिए व्हाट वाज गोइंग ऑन आई मीन आई डोंट नो व्हाई व्हाई दिस दिस वाज गोइंग ऑन हु वाज इट हेल्पिंग लाइक रियली या इट वाज अ लॉट ऑफ ओल्ड विजडम सॉर्ट ऑफ पास डाउन डमली एंड पीपल लाइक मी हु हु डिड ऑल द लर्निंग 10 इयर्स अगो फ्रॉम द वेस्ट not everybody can adapt with their cultural cuisines and food habits to that i i adapted all of that saying na india india mein bhi kar sakte hain hmm. they beef nahi mila to pata hai chicken ke sath bhi kar sakte hain acha uh, you know mere paas ye nahi hai to iska ye sab mere paas blueberry milta nahi hai to shayad hamare false is a good substitute that is what i brought to the table yeah i will say based on your advice based on you know having friends being friends with someone based on reading extensive amounts of meat based literature one thing that has happened is i have a clear productivity slash focus advantage over most of my yeah. peers yeah. and i've noticed in the sense that i come in a room i do my work i go i am the same they are a food they're done they're done <laughs> they can't do anything and it's such an advantage because you realize you have all your waking hours are productive hours like yeah. if you if you're really that yeah. person you can yeah. max out everything yeah. because food is not stopping you yeah. isse pehle people would have to take siestas to cope with the yeah. food you know i have done every podcast or all the podcasts i've done faster i feel my clarity of thought and nar- narrative comes better yeah if i'd had a bunch of masala dosa and come i don't think i would be i would be like ab baitha nahi jaat how long have we been chatting two hours it- and before that an hour Yeah. So I feel when I'm fasted, my productivity is better. Then I take a small break, go eat a meat-based meal, maybe take a half an hour break. Then I come back to about three hours of productivity. Otherwise, I can't handle hundred clients, one yeah. person. It's difficult, and I, I completely buy your productivity because it, your your sugars are not going up and down, up and down, causing all that you know uh, massive fluctuation in your energy levels. And if that happened the day before, you can always fast to clean it out. Like you know, like a few days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm eating every day meat. Now I'm not eating meat anymore. Don't eat. Yeah. Today I'm eating Maggie. Like I really went there. Like I really yeah, went, went there. there. Like you know, like <laughs> the worst <laughs> place. Like today I'll just eat Maggie. I mean, I said, "Cold water, cold water." Cold water. 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 Cold because you know it's not like my life is ruined yeah, i'm not yeah, like yeah, others yeah. now because yeah, i yeah. always have the solution the next day i woke up i was like great i'm going to fast the entire day today just to negate those just ab kya hoga because i'm fasting yeah. nothing's going in i'll just yeah. have some coffee yeah. at night i eat my kebabs set yeah, reset yeah, nothing yeah. it isn't like pata bhi nahi chala mereko maggi khai thi yeah. so i think people don't realize the power the autonomy they have over their own nutrition how they can yeah. fix their lives their mental health um nothing a good 24 hour fast cannot solve hmm. trust me it will put you in the reset mode again if you're feeling like you're spiraling you know just give yourself that 24 hour break hey, you're good some people have some weird myths about like how fasting causes stomach ulcers ulta fasting actually heals stomach ulcers really yes 
because I it know is, of some women who no no huh. it is it is those people who are on those really high carb diets जो वो जब वो ब्रेकफास्ट नहीं करते हैं सडनली वो बोलते हैं ना मुझे मैं, मैं खाना नहीं खाती हूँ तो मुझे एसिडिटी और हेडेक हो रहा है हाँ. आपने अपने गट माइक्रोबायोम और स्टमक एसिड लेवल्स के साथ इतना खिलवाड़ कर लिया है कि आप उसको वो गंद नहीं दे रहे हो तो आपको ये रिएक्शन हो रही है आप पहले लोकाब में ट्रांजेक्शन करके धीरे धीरे फास्टिंग का विंडो बढ़ाओ यूल बी बेटर दैट इज सो द स्टमक बेसिकली योर बैड ईटिंग alternative colitis and yeah. all of that is bad eating in fact not giving any food uh helps with it yeah like when we were out last night with some of our friends have we done yeah. done no what hamara conversation khatam ho gaya yaar ye record no 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 we're still recording oh <laughs> what ye sab please edit karna kya cheez nahi any i i went really informal <laughs> Oh no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh my God. So <laughs> what? Khatam ho gaya. So okay. what? No, 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 no. Am I going on for too long? I can end it if you want. Like, if you like. I think we are done. So I'll have to get back. Also, time. Okay, okay, okay. What, what time is it? Oh damn. That's what I'm saying. I came at eleven thirty. Holy shit! Or How long was you going on for? I want to get up. What? <laughs> और उससे पहले हम समर के साथ बदमाशी कर रहे थे पे। जी। आई 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 वांट वांट टू टू हैव कॉन्वर्सेशंस दैट दिस इज़ व्हाट व्हेन सेड सेड इट चेंज माय लाइफ फॉर योर वर्क थैंक थैंक यू 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 फॉर हैविंग मी। या on twitter i am at the rate s a at on twitter i am at the rate s a a i y e r okay and uh, www.rewriteyourstory.in sangeeta ayer on instagram but usually the the place i'm most active is twitter uh, it's hard to miss me in the space of animal based nutrition <laughs> right okay um this has been great thank you for having me every time i hang with you it's a bunch of fun um i hope i was able to clear any kind of conflicts that were there from the last time uh next time when we have a chat it will be great if in the youtube comments or whatever dms you get we can handle any specific issues uh because we've spoken about a lot of things right now and yeah all the best to you hit the gym soon keep eating meat let me know how it goes <laughs> 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 thank you thank you i love how the the favorite part of the podcast was yeah this over i've become too informal <laughs> <laughs> i know seriously i was every time i chat with you it's like you know are because we we've had long chats and you yeah, know, no, have a lot of fun it, it was a lot of fun and i and i'm glad you came and trust me like what you're doing i think ek to hota hai ki aap gareeb bachcho ko khana khila rahe ho it's it's good philanthropy yeah but giving people autonomy back through the nutrition i think that's more valuable Thank because you. then people start reading on their own and realize everything's broken you know yeah. it's a it's a chain reaction exactly um so i've been helped and you know if you really want to practice this diet you can follow her twitter you can get lots of these small threads and these small tweets uh, i read i read your vegetarianism tweet what mm. to do for vegetarians which actually propelled me to like make this episode around vegetarians so mm. there is hope for vegetarians as well on a low carb diet and yeah thank you so much Thank you. Amazing.